Today we're speedrunning every Fireboy and Water Girl game. Now our speedrun is going to start as soon as we select the first level. And of course, like usual, I'm here with my friend Purple Hair Guy. What's up? I'm so excited for these games. I love them. Yeah, they're actually really good games. Awesome puzzle games. And there are a few that we've never played before. Actually, I'm pretty sure Purple Hair Guy, you never played this one before because I actually did this speedrun alone and then I added in Purple Hair Guy later. But of course, for this video, we're doing all of these all over again. So we're just going to push that block, make it over to the top. And and we will get a couple diamonds, but we're not too worried about them. We're more worried about just finishing the level. I've definitely played this game. Are you crazy? I think this is my first video on the channel. No, you didn't play it. You played the second one. I did the first one alone. Oh. Anyways, one thing I should mention early on is I can go through the fire, purple hair guy can go through the water, but neither of us can go through the green goo. Also, check out that amazing jump. Purple hair guy's a little too scared to make it himself. I can't make those jumps. They're so scary. I don't do it. <laughs> it is fair because purple hair guy and I are playing using an online connection, so he doesn't have the best connection compared to me, but that's also going to help me out on levels like this since we are racing and we're going to keep track in the comments. Wait. So that's no. one win for me, baby. That's not fair. You can't keep track of those. <laughs> yes, oh, I can. That's goodness. what we're doing we're gonna see over all the games who's truly the best racer in the fireboy and water girl series but he's gonna open up that purple thing for me i can just hop down and we make it to the door for this one then for this next level all we're really gonna do is just move these levers it's pretty simple i love these levels they're absolutely my favorite yeah you just go ahead give me that green one i give you that white one right there that i'm gonna take this platform down you can take it on the way up make it over to your door and it's easy don't worry there are some incredibly hard levels in this game like this one okay it's not all incredibly hard for this one but it is very easy for me to die in this section just if i make a slightly bad jump especially because the momentum and the physics in this game are really weird so i've died in some weird places i mean that level's pretty easy for me i didn't have to do anything <laughs> yeah all you have to do is jump over a single red part you have those huge pools it's not fair man hey it's just how the game is all right yeah but we will open up those levers for each other and we can make it to the end you know friendship and i like this level because it is super easy for me i have to wait for you to open up that door for me thank you very much then i can bring this block over and along with my weight i'm able to weigh that down so he can take the other brick and move it over to the red button now it's as easy as me hitting this lever and pretty much the stage is over i just run to the left yeah all i have to do is make sure i keep that are you trying to bring the wooden platform with you <laughs> it kind of looked like yeah it i'd love wooden. to take it to the end of the stage that'd be great <laughs> yeah kind of is a friendly guy so we probably shut off oh and for this one yeah this is all me purple hair guy literally just stands there while i have to do all the work this is great this is like my favorite stage by far <laughs> okay yeah it's it's great for you but finally <laughs> i'm able to open up that platform for him and i'm gonna help him push it because if we push together it goes a lot faster which is gonna open up that blue platform then we're gonna do a little bit of a trick where basically if i keep jumping in the second i hit the platform i continue to jump then none of my momentum will affect the platform so it can just make me go up a bit faster and we make it to the end where it's another race level i don't really know if you can call this one a race level though because literally it's like not like any of the other other race levels but you know what we're gonna count it it has the music we do have to work together on this one though so i don't think so i think if i lose this uh, it should count but if i win it should count yeah you okay. said that too early yeah, yeah, yeah i like it <laughs> all right you can let us know in the comments if that counts i i don't know what you're going for right there man oh in this one okay so i have a couple platforms which i have to worry about you have like very small fire puddles but i have big ones i have to worry about it's not fair yeah but these ones are like actually scary except uh not really it's <laughs> super easy for me but we do have to pay attention at the bottom there's going to be this green stuff and both of us would die to that this is actually terrifying especially because our heads bonk on the wall super easily but we can just open those doors get that one done and dude no, your door. my door broke <laughs> Dang yeah, it. sometimes Sorry. in the first game, the door breaks. It doesn't happen for any of the other games. It's really weird. You know, sometimes when we play this level, I think when you jump in the blue stuff, I'm like, no, you're about to die. Oh, another funny thing is you can actually run against that fan. You could see that purple hair guy was moving ever so closer to the section he needed to get to. So with enough time, he could, but you know, it's faster not to do that. Also, you were playing that way too safe, man. Dude, I can't. Those jumps are so scary. Oh, but you know, it's not scary. Another race level. I already see that you're taking it slow. 
slow. I know, I know. I, I just can't get over my, my fears, you know? You know, I you almost had a chance, but I'm taking this really well. I just have to make this final jump. That's another one for me, two to one. Uh, I think that level should be disqualified. I don't like it. What? Why should that level be disqualified? Uh, because I want it to be. Smile. You know? Oh, you know, that's actually a pretty good reason. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But anyways, it's back to working together. What we have to do is move these levers and yeah, we just completely have to work together in this one. There's no more racing. It's pretty sad. Don't worry, racing will come back very soon. But you just had to stick by that lever the whole time and do pretty much nothing. It's kind of funny. What? I have to know when to switch it, okay? It's a yeah, I, you know, I guess you're doing the work that you need to. But now you'll let me through that blue wall. I can let you through these red things. You can make it up there. And I don't hit this. Oh, oh, no. Oops. All right. Oh, I, you know, for a second, I thought you were supposed to hit that switch. But no, you have to let me out first using this purple button. Thank you very much. Enjoy. What, what am I supposed to enjoy? Just standing here? Yeah, you get a break. Wait, for you forgot. Oh, no. Oops, you got to get the lever. My bad. My, oh, come, sorry. Panicking, okay, it's fine. Know. It's fine. You know, we still have a really good time. As long as we get the deathless run, this is going to be an amazing run. But we got the very hard levels left, so I'm not so sure about the deathless. We'll see about it. But you got to let me through that fan right there. I will open up this one for you so you can go back through. And I'm going to start jumping, doing those jumps I was talking about earlier, just to gain some extra speed. Before that guy comes down, I have to fight against the wind. It's almost killing me, but just barely I'm able to survive. Let's go. Almost. Oh, and for this one, oh, I hate this one. This one has... Has the scariest jump for me because I have to make it on this platform, bonk my head. There's so much green goo all over the place, and I have to make it on the way back. It is terrifying. Dude, that was the easiest jump ever for me. I just had to walk up there. <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, that, that was a super cool jump for you. And then that one is Let also me, uh... scary. Like, so many things could go wrong for this level for me. Meanwhile, yeah, purple hair guy is literally just hanging out. This one, too, kind of a scary jump, not as much as the other ones. Can you hurry up? And finally, after all that, I know, amazingly hard level for you, purple hair guy. I'm really proud of you. Oh, in this one, I actually get to run against the fan. Let's go. I'm making it over there. Okay, I could have done it myself. Now, I have to be very careful with this because I don't want to make the momentum on this platform too much. That's actually pretty good momentum because before we've made it really slow and then lost like 30 seconds so he now has to make I can this. Do this i'm way oh no you missed that jump you got this, this. Go. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. Sorry. Sorry. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. At least we have good momentum on the platform. So it's not the worst time loss. Easy. Yeah. When it goes really slow and you miss it, that's when bad things happen. It's the worst. And now we have another race level. Oh, neither of us knew what it was right away. We were both scared. I got this. Okay. I have to jump up here. I can jump there. Get some extra speed. It looks I like I have it. As long as I don't mess up, no. I'm slightly ahead of you. Come Please. On. Make the jump. Yes. Oh, you I tried. No. Oh, I went I went for the close jump. Couldn't get it there. What is that now? 3-1? Uh, just don't even mention it. I think it's 0-0. Uh, oh, oh. I'm scratching the record. I don't want to lose. Okay. We're not just going to scratch the record. What happens when you're winning? Are we not going to scratch the record there? No. Whenever somebody's winning, we'll just scratch the record so it's fair for the other person. How about that? <laughs> well, you know, that seems like really fun rules and definitely not a boring competition, I gotta say. But we're almost to the diamond levels, which are definitely probably the hardest levels, I'd say. This one's super easy, though. It's kind of hard to go fast because we have to be very specific about it. Down again. There we go. Then That's he the goes to the other side while I make it to the next place. I'm always going to be a bit faster than him just because it takes a while for him to move. And these fans do have kind of weird physics. These ones are really slow, but there's some that are like way too strong well that's in the later games at least in the early game yeah they are way too slow but i through. will let you out there i'm coming man look was on, i man. saying let me through when you were the one who was operating the buttons i don't remember that was so long ago <laughs> that wasn't that long ago what are you talking about listen i have a goldfish memory 15 seconds or less that's it wow that's kind of impressive <laughs> anyways i'll make it to the end i just have to jump over to my red door and yeah that was definitely a level oh and for this one i don't know why i always get scared about this level it's not that bad unless you mess up those jumps but i don't think you ever have before i don't think i've ever messed this up but it's a real threat i could 
maybe in a bad day <laughs> all right we probably shouldn't say that i mean you know this is definitely the run so we're probably never gonna have to worry about this level again but we probably shouldn't Thanks. say things like that anyways he's just gonna stay on the purple button until i make it over here because then i can push over this rock don't trap me and then also open that make sure i don't trap purple hair guy honestly actually i don't make sure i don't trap him i just hope he makes it out <laughs> and these doors are really awkwardly close to each other that's something i always notice when we're in this level oh but time for another race Ray level okay I, I got this one uh you Ooh. know i think i'm slightly this ahead of mine. you right now and no! no my door didn't work no yes that's a win that's a win that that's is win. so dumb what are you talking about i uh, i take those honestly i like this competition it's two three now we're <laughs> <laughs> How did that door not work there? I had the perfect Gotta thing. I'm pretty sure I would have won that. No, I had that in the bag the whole time. Yeah, it does seem like you are a gamer, but all right. Now I just have to make sure I don't die to these water pools. This is a really good run. So my heart is kind of beating out of its chest right now. And you know, that green goo, normally it's not that hard to avoid, but right now it probably could be. And we are on the last race level, which you can barely even call this one a race level because look, it's like he has the way easier stuff to do i have to jump up way more it's not fair yeah but i have to do everything else and you are also the water girl while well, i'm only fire boy so it kind of makes sense that's true that's true i have to hit the switches which slows me down unfair i should have left oh for you. I, I just messed up my own switch right there but please mess up that jump come on man nope. what are you doing nope. Okay, my this. last chance here is I just have to hope you mess up this drop. Yes, no! yes, yes, let's go. Why me? Oh, I love that race level, man. I know I was complaining about it earlier on, but I just got the perfect drop. So now we're on the green diamond levels. And basically for these, what we have to make sure we do is get the green diamond before we complete it. You can just make it to the doors if you want, but then it won't actually count for completing the level. So right here, we just have to push down these boulders. And I'm also going to go over to this blue button. Button. That one's gonna open up the door for purple hair guy and now I'm kind of just waiting for him Is it a green diamond or maybe an emerald? Nah, I'm not sure what no. you're talking about. That's definitely a green <laughs> okay. diamond. Okay. All right. My bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Look, what else do you think it would be? Anyways, now at this point, I just have to very slowly make my way over. Can you hurry up? Is this a race level? <laughs> I don't think this is a race level. I'm not hearing the music right now. Dang. Easy level, as long as we remember what to do. There has been a time where I've went the exact opposite direction I was supposed to and lost like 30 seconds. But now that I'm reminding myself of that right now, it's definitely not going to happen this time. Haha. <laughs> right um i hope so truly i don't want to waste another 30 seconds because you know my race <laughs> levels have gone very poorly i mean you know they haven't gone that poorly you've been like a <laughs> second behind me most of the time it's not that hey, bad that's a second too late all right easy stage yeah, not the worst one in the world. But this diamond level, oh no, why did we just say easy stage? Okay, so this one, it seems like it should be easy. All you have to do is stack these blocks. And you know, that shouldn't be hard. But with how the physics work in this game, things can go very badly very quickly. Now what I'm gonna do is perfectly position this guy. He's going to move that over. And now Ooh. I have to make the tiniest jumps. Make sure I do come not on. knock this oh guy off. Gosh. And come on, man. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Nice job. Okay, oh, we have a lost a really good run to this before. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this level is terrifying. But I'm going to take the green diamond. That's what it is. Not an emerald, obviously. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, you know, yeah, yeah. you can't say that after those beautiful jumps I made. Come on, man. I'm so glad you did that first try. That is the run ender. Yeah, oh, but... Oh, this go. one can literally not end your run. Unless we make, like, the worst mistakes of all time. <laughs> all we have to do is remember what switches to press in what order, though. I'm to open that one up you can move those white ones then go. i can jump up to the blue one that's going to open up the ending you're just going to keep moving me towards oh, no, no you have to hit the wait. white one sorry there's so many switches man it's hard to remember all of these. <laughs> wait it's only three it's not even that many switches man uh that's i can't even count that high all right my oh. education is lacking to say the least oh yeah <laughs> well it's okay you know just hit the white one last of all and we'll make it to the end i don't remember every single one of these levels and like the order we do them but i do remember there are some super hard ones like this one okay i wouldn't call this one super hard but it definitely is a run ender because if we mess it up slightly our run is just over which i guess is the very definition of a run ender now that I'm thinking about it. but okay right. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this guy over purple hair guy's gonna it. be able to make a perfect jump over there nice push it faster 
Wait, dude, I'm doing this all by myself. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, and you say that, no. oh, and no. then you fall off the block. Really? Uh, oops, it happens. Now, what I have to do here is make sure I have enough momentum on this boulder so it doesn't just get stuck in the green goo. We have had it get stuck in the green goo before. It's not fun. So I'm positioning myself right here. Purple hair guy is going to push that down. I stand here. I give it the perfect amount of momentum. Please make it up the cliff. It does. Beautiful. Yes, good job. Good job. I'm always worried about this level because this is another one where I'm pretty sure we lost a really good run to. We've tried to do this speed run a lot. Oh, Oh, and this is one where we've also died to i you know now that i'm just thinking about it we've died to a lot of these levels this game's just hard man i think we suck i'm not gonna lie what are you talking about we have the deathless run right now that's true wait don't say that that's bad that's bad luck first try you have to make it over that very small fire Easy. pool perfect push over the boulder now here check out what i'm gonna do i'm gonna push that guy hits the button for nice. you beautiful that was sick oh uh, yeah, can head. you make oh. the hardest jump in the world this now? This is the okay. hardest jump in the game. Uh, there first, first we try, go. First try. Easy. All right, straight over to the ending. That's what nice. we like to see. How many levels do we have left? Like three. Three? Come on. Okay, this is actually like, these jumps are not easy, even though they really are. They're just Yeah, they're not easy if we did this first. But since we're so far into the game, I'm pretty sure it gets a lot harder. Because you got the nerves going through you. You do not want to lose the deathless run. But okay, push me up beautiful and get ready to put it back down okay you can there probably you put go. it back down there i pushed down the boulder that's gonna hit the blue stuff nice. and yeah now you can kind of just chill i gotta go all the way over to the green diamond while you're just sitting by the door second to last level oh no not this level <laughs> i have to do so much work on this level and the things at the top kill me every single time they're impossible. yeah i know we've been saying this a lot that we've lost runs to a few different places but this is one where purple hair guy has lost us like at least two runs too i can't i just can't do it it's too hard this time for sure though yeah i'm pretty sure it's mostly just the All problem right. of us using internet Focus connection up. but yeah what you have to do is you just have to stand here you have to make sure you don't go too fast because the momentum in this game can really screw you over but there we go. That's all we need, Purple Easy. Hair Guy. Great job. Now you all just right. have to make this jump. Don't fall into the green Another. pit. Beautiful. Oh. Dude, I'm so good. Hey, get off the button. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. Forgot to move over really quick. All right. I'm going to go free you, except I'm taking my time. And now just have to make it over this final green pit. It is not really a scary jump, but it can be. I mean, we're almost to the deathless run. And we're trying to do every single one of these games deathless. It's going to be hard. I don't know about that. That's <laughs> way too difficult. Hey, we'll see what happens. But this one is kind of the funniest level in the entire game. Because what you can do is you can just jump up there. We don't even have to use the fan. Which is... I, I don't know how they made that mistake and didn't realize that. Okay, this is scary for me. Because if I fall in that pit, we're stuck. And we can't do anything about it. Yeah, that would um, be kind of but, hilarious. Okay. I'm not going to lie. But we are home sweet home as long as we don't mess up these boulders now. Now, I'm pretty sure it's left right right far left that's correct right purple hair guy yes absolutely factual right? okay are you saying that you because it. you actually know i really hope so no oh yeah no it, it definitely is and yep. wait a second and now we can put it right there now do we get a slow roll or a fast one sometimes this boulder can randomly go super slow but thankfully we got nice. the perfect speed it's a medium it's a medium speed final final that is done. what we like to see and we make it to the Ooh. end that is game number one done next up time for the light temple this is the best game in the series aka the first one i played so like with the last one we're starting as soon as we select the first level and right away you might notice something this looks kind of similar oh by the way it tells you that's green mud when it's just black i don't really know why they're calling it green anymore but we're still gonna call it green mud and you know this is just literally the exact same level but i mean it does make sense since it is a general tutorial and maybe you didn't play the first game but yeah don't worry we're gonna see much more of this level too <laughs> but now we have the tutorial for the light temple and the light temple is actually super cool it makes some really cool puzzles because we have to use light to open up specific paths like I have to move that guy right over there and then we can go inside these doors. There's some cool puzzles in this game. I love this game. This is by far my favorite by a long shot. I mean, so. uh, hey, we haven't even played some of the later games yet. So I don't know if you can say that just yet. But what I'm going to do for this level is basically I just go all the way around. All we have to do is worry about what switches are actually important. Some of them are just trying to trick you. And now it's time for a race level. Let's go. First race. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I'm, I don't. 
remember the score from the last game. So somebody in the comment section is hopefully going to keep track of that. But that's a win no. for me. So at least for this game, we're starting out 1 0. Let's go. Oh, and this one is one of the funniest solutions in the entire game. So Purple Air Guy's going to go down there, right? He's going to hit down that green button while I'm bringing over this block. And what I'm going to do is place it right there and stick my head there. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sit here. And then yeah, I he go. can go through. I make it through as well. It's kind of hilarious. And now that block is there forever. Kind of a sad existence. But ooh, another race level. And okay, these race levels are actually unfair for Purple Air Guy. I'm not going to lie. This one definitely doesn't count. You can't count this on the race level. Okay, I don't know about that one. It does have the race level oh, music, come on. to be fair. Like, how am I supposed to win that? Even with a no mess up. Yeah, because he has to go up while I go down. So it's probably not the most fair in the world. But oh no, I have to hit the craziest okay, jump. Okay, this. so I have to use momentum to hit that nice. one first of all. And this one is even harder. So what I want to do is get a you ton of momentum, be able to make that jump. And that saves like five seconds. It's actually insane. And I cannot believe I got that first try. God gamer moment. Thank you. You know, I appreciate it. I tried my best. Oh, by the way, so something that this game adds in as well is these dark levels where you can't really see everything that's going on. But thankfully, we know exactly where to go. This is supposed to be like a maze. So you're supposed to be confused. But yeah, we're just gaming. Um, I forget every time we do these levels and just guess. <laughs> I don't know I if that's true. You know how many times we've played this it singular is level? <laughs> it's at least something you have automatically in your brain. Every Every time I do this level, I'm like, oh gosh, do I go left or right at the first spot? And I get we it right every this time. this level at least like 10 times. What are you talking about? All right, now for this one, we go straight into another dark level. And this one's weird because I just join his path. So after getting through the first section, I'm pretty good. Sorry, I thought I was fire, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know, you thing. wish you were fire, boy. Oh, this one. Okay, mm. so I have to do a very hard jump for this, where what I'm trying to do is get just enough momentum to be able to move this platform under the left. That's what we needed. Then I can do another nice. jump, and I want to move that over to the right. That allows Purple Hair Guy to then move that boulder over. And now what I have to do is move this platform to keep it on this button. So I'm going to stick it right there, and it needs to stick. That is not exactly what I needed. So we'll try this again, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to do this with the physics of this game, but that looks about... Come on, man. Okay, come on, game. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. Nice. Took a little bit more time than we would have wanted, but that's fine. And this one... Oh, so for this one, what we have to do is just completely remember where to put all these switches. What we do is use the lines on the wall. At least that's what I do. I'm not sure about Purple Hair Guy but I can move this guy over. And that was actually perfect. I'm surprised we didn't have to move those wow. at all. Okay, okay. That was impressive because I also never remember where to put those. Oh, and this one we get to go wee with that fan. Kind of fun. Anyways, time for you to do everything, Purple Air Guy. Hard jump coming right up. You know, actually the hardest jump in the game. I salute you, man. I'm going to wait for you because I definitely am not going right, to hit I'll keep this it one. down for you. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And okay. can I make all the right. jump? My bad. Come on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, that's on me. Uh, oh, another dark level. This is the easiest dark level in the game for me. <laughs> it's pretty much all you. Yeah, so he goes down there. Then he has to do a whole loop-de-loop. -loop. And you know what, Purple Guy? I'm going to make sure you don't miss the green mud. It's right here. Green mud? That doesn't Yeah, look, look how green, green it is. Is it looking great? <laughs> and okay, I'll go forward. Just Thank make you. sure you don't fall into it. And that's what we like to see. And for this one, okay. So now Purple Hair Guy has to do a nice jump over there which that's kind of actually a scary jump. We have messed up on it before, but I'm going to move that switch over so it can start moving some light. Then I have to turn this switch, which I almost jumped over. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Ooh, got the jump. But okay, now you can do that, which is going to open up my path. And now all I have to do is move this blue lever over. And that's pretty much the level. As long as I don't miss this. Okay, that jump's terrifying. Everything in this game is terrifying. Don't oh, worry, no. you're all a right. gamer, man. <laughs> Besides, you know, falling down there. But other than that, you're a gamer. And for this level, it starts out with the terrifying green mud. I'm scared of that stuff. I've died there before and you've died there before. That jump is surprisingly scary. But now Purple Hair Guy is just going to slowly move up and down these platforms for me. I'm pretty sure Purple Hair Guy is technically supposed to hit that switch, but it gives me enough space to do it myself, so I don't really have to wait for him. Now I get the most fun jump in the game. Wee! It's like a water slide. <laughs> 
Uh, and you beat me to the exit. Dang it, that's another one for me. I, I don't think that one's a race level, but <laughs> you know what? I'll take it if you're going to count it. Oh, and this right. one? Okay. I got the button Yeah, here. you'll get that button so then I can jump up there. I can move over the switch. And this one is pretty much just don't be dumb. <laughs> and we have that's been dumb thing. here before. We have messed up our jumps before, but we're not going to this time. We'll take our time at least a bit. We just have oh. to make this final ah, nice. jump perfect. That's what I like to see. Oh, race level, but... Easy, easy for Yeah, me. I'm terrified of that jump. It has messed me up before, and I'm surprised that you went that fast, man. I guess you really need the win. Like, you know, I've been just this destroying <laughs> you so far, so... what, Dude, this is the... you're going insane. What are you doing? I'm going. I got this. I thought I had a chance That's to That's a dub you. for me. That's a dub for that me. That is w. so sad. Big dub. Oh, and this one, now I get to bonk my head. Let's go. So Purple Air Guy's gonna do something. To be honest, I usually don't know what he's doing. I just pay attention to myself. Meanwhile, he pushes that there on me, bonks my head. We're able to put it in the perfect spot. So we don't have to do the puzzle how you're supposed to do it. Because who's trying to do it that way? Let's be honest with ourselves. Bonk. I think that is how you're supposed to do it. Is it? I, I kind of doubt it, if I'm gonna be honest. That is a very specific way of doing this puzzle. You might be right, actually. I bet you're supposed to drop it down and push it. I wouldn't know. I'm a speed runner. Yeah, we're going super fast. Oh, and this one. Yeah. Speaking of going super fast, we have to race these bricks. And it's really easy, to be completely honest with you. Like, they could have made this harder. But, I mean, to be fair, if you're trying to go for 100%, it probably would be pretty hard to actually get the diamonds. But, there we go. It's another level done. Now, we're coming up to the ending levels pretty soon but this one i kind of always forget what to do do i push this one first yeah 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 you get that one first and i push this on top of it okay yeah okay i'll do that <laughs> one and yeah you're supposed to stay uh, yep, down yep. there so then you can correct it okay a little confused we were this game's hard okay you can't make everything perfect <laughs> and now i'm gonna push down that one for you you can go correct both of those. I can push this last one, move that guy over, and now you can start going towards the lever while I press that straight over to that light, and that's perfect. Okay, it was a little nice. confusing. We lost a few seconds, but you know, eventually we got it done. We didn't die, so that's all we need. Now I can press that button, which is going to open up the purple path, and also the yellow path is going to open up as soon as the light shines through, so that's going to be all that done. Now for this one, oh yeah, this one. Okay, so I have to keep moving these lights over i'll start with that one then i move it out of the way then i have to go to the second blue one i don't know why Ooh. they didn't make these different colors like why only have blue and yellow they could have had like red or something like they could have made them so many different colors it made it easier for us uh, i hit the switch and then back down all right we just gotta go in reverse now yeah pretty much so, so i'm just up. gonna let you down Thank there you. You can start moving over there. I'll open up that path Scary for you. Scary jump coming up. Scary jump. Ooh. Okay, I got it. Sometimes got you it. take this momentum that does not make sense to me. You could go so much slower, but safer, man. <laughs> momentum is like a big part of it. It's so fun to use. It is really fun to use. You did see those awesome jumps I did in the past. Those, those were fun. Nah, you're sick, bro. Now we're almost to the final diamond levels, but for this one... Oh, yeah. This one, I kind of just hang out. Yeah, I'll do all the work like usual. Don't worry. Okay, that is definitely not <laughs> true. I don't know what you're talking about, but I got to open up that green light and we're going to wait a second because we're going to move this block I over. It. Yeah, I, you know, I did some help right there by helping you move it slightly. <laughs> then I can push the white lever. And what we can do here is actually he goes through, jumps up, and then I can reposition the block. So it's perfect. Just a bit faster. Got for the blue here. Okay, I've died here once. And now every <laughs> single time Purple Hair Guy tells me to look out for it. It was one time, man. One time. I'm just helping you out, man. I I'm making sure you don't forget. Oh, okay. and I'm blue. this one is always the tiniest bit confusing for me. But no, we move it to that direction. First of all, I'm going to get all the way down. that first platform for you. Then I want to open up this one for me i can come switch that over after that i have to start moving them the other way i'm gonna open up this other platform for you this thing is super Ooh. hard to move like if you move the tiniest bit sometimes it goes way too much but there is that one you can make it to the end Thank now you. i open up this blue platform if i can please Ooh. <laughs> these tiny movements are so hard man but there we go that's another ending we love to see it and time for a race level okay this one is kind oh, of terrifying I had a late start. yeah we love to see it come on i just have oh, to make sure i don't mess up i'm stuck let's go oh, come on. okay come on this is a level that 
you can't win. You can't I just this. have to lose <laughs> if you're going to win this, but it doesn't come look on, like I'm going on. to do it. Let's go. Oh, dang it. I was close. And you missed out on a diamond. Haha. <laughs> so did you. I don't know what you're talking about. But another race level. Woo! Oh, dude, oh my gosh. What was... Okay. Why did you make I'm that brave. jump, man? That was terrifying. I had to win, man. I got to win these race levels. <laughs> I guess you do have to catch up, but you use momentum yes. right there. You could have fallen into the fire pit. That would have been a dead run right there. You know that, right? I wasn't scared. I'm a winner, by the way. Yeah, I guess you're a gamer. What else can you say, man? Okay, this one, you do not move. I only move. And you just wait there for me until I move these guys up. I could totally prank you right now, but I'm not going to. I, I mean, I, I really don't want to lose this run, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> then we both have to avoid that green button, because it's actually a bad button. We'll both make it over there. And now, you have to make a kind of blind jump, which is a little scary. So, I can go ahead, see where I need to jump to. I always use that line on the wall to make sure I have the right spot. And then you can use that line as well. Beautiful. Why does it get to light up the platforms for you? But I gotta deal with the darkness. That's so unfair. Oh, uh, well, because I'm super cool. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you have to think about it that way. Now, you can open up that guy for me so I can make it past there. I don't even know why they put that section there like why make it so hard to do that though but now i'm gonna open up that guy so it. you can move the block and oh yeah i forgot okay. my bad it's okay yeah you can yeah. go ahead go over there do not fall into that pit that pit is terrifying hit, hit the button what are you doing yeah, my bad sorry you usually are the one to do that That's it's okay it's okay but and now you can move that guy over we can move that dude we have to push this guy together because it's really hard to get him in there teamwork Nice. It's kind of terrifying, too, because you always think, what if I fall into that pit? But we're also gamers, so that would never happen to us. Haha, <laughs> right? Uh, besides all the times it has, yes. True. But race level, okay, I had the head start. Oh, you're taking this one super no, I was slow. So, I, was, I got scared, man. I got scared, okay? Yeah, it's there is a fair. chance. Wait, no, wait I'm not going to wait up for you. What are you talking about? Wait I up need for these me, wins. please. I, not counting how many wins each of us have, but I'm pretty sure I'm winning this one right now. And, okay, this is the one where I have to wait. I have jumped straight into yep. the water before, which was kind of hilarious. Us. but he has to open that up for me now i'm gonna drop down and this is probably the scariest dark level just because there's so many death spots that you can die at especially at the bottom like if we weren't careful we would have died right there there was even green goo that's definitely green yeah there are so many places you can die on this one it's actually terrifying oh but race level okay Ooh, race level. but will I he remember this. where to go he did it no, I, <laughs> you also I had the win that way. time. You literally had the win if you didn't mess that oh, up. Let's go. God. We love to see it. So he was going for the diamonds since he just naturally wanted to, but it's actually faster to ignore them. So that's kind of hilarious. Okay. Now for this one. Now this is yeah, we have level. all these pools. Remember, there's the drop off into the green goo. I know you always forget about it. Yeah, it's me that always forgets about that one. Not uh, Fireboy, of course. Yeah, to, that's a very inside joke between us. I have, I, I only died there <laughs> yeah. like twice. Okay, that's a lot of times, but. I think, I think it was once, actually. It was like one time. Now for this one, I'm gonna go for a really hard jump to hit where I wanna make sure I don't move this platform. And if I do, then I have to go backwards because yeah, it's just what you have to do. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it which you know is a tiny bit of a time loss but doesn't matter too much i'm gonna turn on that fan and now yeah right here i have to let down this platform so purple hair guy can get up here that's kind of sad i didn't hit that jump at all but the reason we need to do that is because we need both of us right here so one of us can take the left boulder and one of us can take the right one i will let you take the left one how did that one stay up there i've never had that happen uh, to me why is it stuck up there Okay, hold this down. I'm gonna. I got this jump. What are you right talking now. about? You got this jump. What jump are you talking, dude? Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. The next one. The next one. <laughs> oh, right that jump. I was very confused about what yep. was going on. Ooh, that's the scariest jump. It's so terrible. Okay, I don't know if that's exactly and true, but. Nice. There we go. That's an ending right there. Oh, that level almost went bad in a couple ways, but it stayed good. So that's all that matters. <laughs> oh yeah, easiest level in the game, honestly. At least when you know what you're doing, because all I have to do is open that up. Then I wait a second so the door can open up for me. I have to hit both of these switches over. That is going to move both of those mirrors. What are you doing down there, Purple Guy? You can just go to the end. No, I 
Oh, you're right. Yeah, you live. Once I make it to the Duh. end, you can just. <laughs> My yeah, bad. but there we go. It's okay. I, I was. There. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really affect anything. And now let's see. Oh yeah, the level where I do literally nothing. Let's go. Uh, wish I was Fire Boy on this level, for real. Yeah, I mean, you usually wish you were Fire Boy because just look how cool his hair is. <laughs> water Girl for the win. Are you only saying that because you're a Water Girl main? Put in the YouTube comments. Who do you think's cooler, Fire Boy or Water Girl? It's Water Girl. And if you vote. Water Water girl, you vote purple hair guy, which means you're cooler in general. Okay, that is definitely not true. Right, you don't have go. to lie like that, man. I mean, purple hair guy is a pretty cool guy, but liking purple hair guy, I guess is a pretty cool thing too, which is why if you enjoyed this video, you should probably go check out his channel. It'll be in the description. <laughs> Look, we're doing a lot of speed runs. There's a lot of learning. You deserve the plug, purple hair guy. Yeah. All right. I have to, if I can hit these first try that'd be incredible i never yeah did. but don't worry you're a gamer and this is the perfect run we haven't made any mistakes at all besides you know a few mistakes that we have made but we're not talking about those ones okay you're good to go can you oh okay no oh my bad yeah i'm literally just standing here while this is happening by the way i've already done all my work it's just time for purple air guy to do his now all i have to do is move this guy over so i guess i have a tiny bit more work to do but yeah that's literally the entire level nice and good one it's always nice to see when there are levels where you can't die on that's what i'm most terrified about and speaking of level you actually i don't know if we can die on this one you'd have to make some pretty stupid choices to die on this level yeah i guess that's fair enough so he's gonna let me through there which is gonna allow me to then open up this purple platform i hit the green switch and then i go back to free you again because yeah and because you don't hate me right 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 uh right Right, wink, wink. What was, you know what what I was mean? the wink, wink for? I didn't know what you meant. That's none of your business, okay? What? I think it is my business. We're literally, like, hanging out right now. What are you talking about? Okay, just gotta hit this blue switch, and then uh, you're good to go. I just sit here and wait for, like, half an hour. <laughs> okay, it doesn't take me that long, all right? <laughs> you're I'm so trying my best, slow. man. All right, but then move that down, and I can make it to the end. So, yeah, what's taking you so long, man? Not fair. I have all this track to run. You just got to go right to it. <laughs> Okay, you can't say that after you said it's gonna take you forever. <laughs> you were hated on me first. That's my bad. Sorry. I apologize for my behavior. It's okay. I apologize as well. Oh, in time for this level. Ooh. This level's hilarious. Okay, so I literally just dropped down here at oh, uh, Boulder. Bo can you? Okay. <laughs> Boulder, right. please. Okay, I just gotta. I have to get up into a platform I'm not supposed to. Okay, um, there we go. And just shove my head on the button. That's it. <laughs> For some reason, that activates it. it. <laughs> yeah, there's probably a huge puzzle you have to do with these boulders. You have to make sure they're in the perfect spots. We're not doing that at all. <laughs> no way. Yeah, we're kind of just cool like that, man. You know, we're made for this game. <laughs> and oh, this one. Okay, so you have I to put this. this at the perfect spot. I know yep. you're a gamer, so you definitely got this. Just a little well, left. There we go. Okay. I got and it. And I just aimed that at that light, and I'm pretty much just waiting for you for a second. I have to go all the way up, all the way to the top. And please, did I hit it? Let's find out. Okay, so now we see if you had the per- And you did. You're a gamer, purple hair guy. How do you remember yeah. where to put these guys? I don't. I just guessed. <laughs> okay, there's no way that's true. No, it really is true. I guess. I'm like, this must be right. And then I do it. <laughs> Dog, you- why, why not just, like, take a picture of where to put it or something, man? I, I guess it's too late at this point. Yeah, we, we already finished the level. No big deal. And this is the run. We can't mess it up now. This one is all about me being fast. I have to make sure I make it to certain places before these platforms close. First, I have to make it up here. Then I can head down there. Now, all I have to do is make sure that this blue button is no longer activated. So I will push that up, make it down there. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much the whole level. And all I had to do was wait at the exit. And that's I it. mean, you also flipped the switch. That was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> super difficult, of course. And for this level, easiest level oh, in the game no, for no, me. No, 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 this... This level is so hard. I have to hit every jump perfectly. Yeah, or... he has to do perfect jumps to make sure that the momentum doesn't <gasps> oh, stall. No. You got okay. this. Okay. You okay. got this, Purple Air Guy. You're a push, gamer. Push, push. Go. Let's go. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I can't believe that just worked. I have no idea what happens if we fail that because we never have before. And I got to get the diamond. Of I think we would just have to reset. 
which would not be fun on the second to last level of this game. Why did we save this one to the last? That's so scary. I mean, right, I, you never messed here. up on that before. You just sometimes get close. Oh, and it's this level. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, yep. this level's hilarious because he One just shoves his head into two. there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely is, you know, the best one. Now all we and have I to do is make sure pushing. we position that. And yeah, that's the level. And that's the run too, once I get over there eventually. Boom. So Everybody. that is officially nice. speedrun number two done. Let's go. Next up, we're on to the ice temple. And this speedrun starts with everybody's favorite level, the exact same tutorial we've already done twice. But this time they actually call the green mud black goo. So yeah, that's well, a little fun goo. addition. Well, it is black goo in this game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, they're actually calling it what it is. But yeah, same level <laughs> as always. Easy, get that done quick. No and way. then we have another tutorial where we're doing the exact same thing. He's just gonna push that that was a nice push, poor guy. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert at this at this point. Yeah, you're kind of a gamer that I come over here. I have to very slowly do that. All right, that's perfect. And that's what we like to see. Now on to new levels. So in this one, basically what they have is snow and ice. I go faster on the snow and purple hair guy goes slower on the snow and he also can't jump on it. And then we can also freeze things like this. We can use that freeze ray. That's going to make it ice for me. And then I have to melt this with a red light. So you'll see me do that right there. And he's actually able to jump. So there's actually a lot of cool puzzles they have with us and there are also a lot of very complicated puzzles which you will see but we got it like right here you have to save me please i can't make this I gotta, jump i gotta run further or else it goes slower and then i have a super cool trick where right here what i can do is just spam my jump button and for some reason that allows me to do a jump when i'm not supposed to be able to which is hilarious and yeah we're gonna use that in a couple different spaces this one doesn't really save us too much time since we have to wait for purple hair guy anyways but in the future it's going to be really cool. Now for this level, you'll see that there is a lot of stuff to worry about, but what I'm going to do right away is push this block over to the green and then I will bring that over. I just have to make sure that freezes. That way I can actually go this way. I have to set this up for the future. Uh, no spoilers, but there you go. Enjoy that. And then that's going to lift up that because I hit the lever. He can go and do his stuff. He's going to turn over some lights and just pretty much wait for me. And because purple hair guy already set this up for me, all I have to do is push it forward, make it water, and then make it back into ice. That way he can make his jump, but later I can actually make it through there. Then all we have to do is hit that blue switch and we're good to go. Yeah, and I get to go super fast while you are uh, very slowly chugging through, man. The developers must hate water, girl, because why do I have to run so slow on the Ice. Yeah, they always give the best stuff for Fireboy <laughs> and Water Girl. They give nothing. But time for a diamond level. And ooh, this is a really cool one. So what we're going to do is both jump up here. And of course, I can make it through this lava puddle. So what I'm going to do is press this down. It's going to hit Purple Hair Guy's head just so it can go a little bit faster. He'll bring that over to me. Then I can start pushing. And we're just trying to go over to the diamond, which we can both grab right there. Push this guy out of the way. And now we have a really specific jump where as soon as we hit the button, we have to jump again. But he's going to stick his head right in there so i can make mine as well it's beautiful good job that was really good yeah that worked perfectly we're doing really well so far we'll see if that can continue Ooh, and oh okay. yay so, another head level yeah this level is uh you do almost nothing and i also do almost nothing but i have to run around yeah I you have to do up. a couple of jumps at least but then i'm gonna stick my head right, right. in there and that's it that's pretty much the level. These levels are always so much fun. I don't know how they didn't catch this in the development, but maybe it was the intended solution. Who knows? And now for this level. Oh, yay. Another oh, me no. doing basically nothing level. This level is so scary for me, though. Why do you get the easy part? Yeah, so what he has to do is turn it into ice and also water to make sure that that boulder can actually go forward. And that's going to open up this switch so we can do the purple part. Got to come free you after this and uh, kind of the whole solution right there. Then you just got to drop the ball and we're all good. Yeah, he's going to open up that blue path. I can jump up there. I hit that blue switch and right away I have to go straight over to the red button. So that's going to bring it to the other purple switch. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire level. Some of these levels look a lot more complicated than they are, but this one is actually complicated. Oh, no. <laughs> I this hate this level. Ender. Yeah, so first of all, what he's going to do is he's going to bring me this glass thing. I'm going to have that come all the way up. Then I can start pushing that. And this first one is going over to the red so it can get to the light. Okay, meanwhile, I have to set up my mirrors because I have to bring all of them up without messing this up. It's horrifying. Okay. Yeah, we have to use every single one of these. Then he has to bring this back up. He has to do a very special jump. So that way it actually goes the right way. He's going to start moving down those mirrors. And that was perfect. I saw it right there. 
But can he make the push? Let's go! go. If you don't make that push fast enough, the mirror will actually fall off and or the platform will go past the mirror and then you're done. You, you lose the level. It's so annoying. Yeah, this is actually one of the scariest levels. <laughs> like, it is so easy to lose your run right here, but we're just gonna set that up. We have the second mirror and oops. Oh, okay. oh no. Oh, okay, this um, is fine. I'll just jump. Can recover yeah, I'll just jump up with the mirror. Excuse me, nice. platform. Okay, yeah, you know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it happens. I you know, not the mirror. worst thing in the world. I'm just gonna start jumping back up. Thankfully, uh, we do have ways to save this. If we weren't able to do these perfect jumps, then we would have just lost there. But now Purple Hair Guy's actually going to come back up. I'm coming up. He doesn't really need to be up here, but it makes this solution so much easier. What he can do is bring that guy over, and I'm going to bring one of these white blocks so it can hit the cracked button. So all I have to do is push this dude over. That should be perfect. That nice. gets everything where we need it to go. And now we can button. just drop this button. And there are right. a couple blocks in front. Okay, that was actually nope. scary. <laughs> I was kind of thinking we were about to die right there. I'm not going to lie, but perfect. Okay, you know, a sub two minute on that level is what I like to see. So now for this one, it's some more boulders. I have to go over to the left boulder first, and that's going to allow his purple platform to come up. Now I just have to go to this water puddle here and push my boulder out. Let's see if I can get a boost on it. I missed. Oh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a tiny bit of a boost, but this one is pretty much just about waiting because every time we push one of these boulders, it gives a new path like that green one's going to open that up. Then we have to push that white one, which is going to move down that white platform. And finally, that's going to open up for the red one. So purple hair guy can go right in there. I just get the diamond and then I got to get this jump. It's so hard. Oh, yeah. God, hardest either. jump in the game where you have to jump so over hard. a very small lava pool. You never know what can happen in this game. So now for this one, I have to go all the way around just to get some extra speed and this is actually a really cool level how they do the physics because yeah there are some levels that don't use these physics in the best way but levels like these are amazing what we want to do is i hold on to this button so then he can go forward since he moves so slowly on the snow and then finally after he makes it far enough i'm going to release the button he can just make it get a little boost and it's perfect open it up for you easy part here yeah i just have to go to the end meanwhile you have to hit one of these timed buttons I have to win a race against this super difficult time button. Oh, okay. you missed the jump! Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, no. No. Okay, Easy. there is actually I no... <laughs> I don't think you could actually die there if you just do it okay. But okay, now for this one, you have to let down those platforms so we can each go up our sides. And oh no, this is a jump for me. Okay, so I have to do another one of these spam jumps where I keep trying to jump. And sometimes it is really weird to get there. Perfect. That's what we like to see. Wow. Now I can move this block slightly over. That way, Purple Hair Guy is able to make this jump. I'm scared. I can, I can do it. I, okay. No, sorry. Yeah. It's just so scary to do that jump. That we jump is know. really scary that I have to put that down. And you already know what we're going to do. Put our heads yep. in it. <laughs> the best solution. Get close to the level. Now for this one, oh yay, we have a fan that I can just run against. I always love these fans where you can slowly get go, forward man. until Purple Hair Guy finally lets me go through. And now it's an all me level. Uh, I love waiting here the whole entire level. It's yeah, awesome. he's just going to sit there by that white button while I have to do all this platforming going around the entire map. Don't worry, eventually he'll have to platform again. But I'm just making my way down. I have to hit this blue switch, which opens up both of those doors. Okay, and finally there. Oh my gosh, you scared oh, me there. I didn't think you'd make it. That's my bad. <laughs> I should have kept it. But that's perfect. We made it through. You All do right. some beautiful platforming. And now it is time for one of the hardest levels. Yeah, so for this level, first of all, I'm going to sit right on this button. And Purple Hair Guy has to slowly push over that boulder. It can't be too fast. Otherwise, it's going to mess this up. Now after that, he's going to bring this block over to the white button. That's going to open up the door for me. And then the Boulder's gonna go over to the purple button for later. And now I have the hardest jump where I have to, I just what? got that first try. What? That is actually insane. I, <laughs> usually that jump takes me like 30 seconds, but now he can go and take that diamond. And all we have to do to finish this out is he just has to push that. So he opens the door up for me. And yeah, that is the entire level. When we did this video originally, this took us like three minutes and now we've gotten it down to 50 seconds, which is insane. But yeah, a race level. Is this the first one of this video? I'm pretty sure it is. 
think so. I think there might have been one earlier, but it wasn't a real race level. And it's a race level where it's easier for me since I go from top to bottom while you have to go from bottom to top. They must really like Fireboy better. Oops, my bad, Ben. Uh, that's okay. I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's and all... on top of that, um, every race level in this game is kind of stacked towards Fireboy because I get slowed down on the like ice platforms. I it's have no idea what you're talking about. This is not fair, man. <laughs> this doesn't seem true. Hey, we're still counting these towards the total. Wait, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. I'm me doing nothing at the beginning level, but I do have to uh, do a lot more stuff in a second. I probably should have gone back and made a jump. I am so slow. <sighs> all right. Now, this is the hardest part. I have to hit this button and then run all the way back. But you also have to hit that purple switch. Don't forget about yep. that one. Got to turn it into water. I've got time here, so it's all good. The white button does have a fair amount of leeway, but there we go. Now we can go over here. I will turn that back to ice for you, purple hair guy. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't know why, but thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I probably should have just waited for you to hit the white button. That, that one's on me. <laughs> I, I guess I wasn't turning it back to ice for you. I'm turning it back for me because otherwise I couldn't get through. But there you go. I You're going to open up that blue door for me. I can open up this green door. And now it's a race for me. This started out as a really easy level for me. And now it goes out to this hard stuff. I got to go. Wow. You're just sitting there by your door watching me in all this pain. Uh, yawn. Come on, man. Can you hurry up? It is nice, though, like because we're getting every single one of the diamonds you know i always love to see that and that will be that one done let's do another diamond level oh and this one okay this actually has a really cool trick so first of all i'm gonna cause both of those to be ice and now he's going to turn this ice to fire and before it becomes completely water if i'm able to jump then i actually won't die i'm not sure why that works out so well but it does and i'm gonna take it now yeah, i have okay. to make sure that all of this is also gonna be water for purple hair guy you're welcome and yeah i don't have to go on any of those patches anymore so it can all be water just so it can go as fast as possible now i gotta run over to this purple switch oh made an early jump it's fine i don't want to actually flick this because we need it to with the final bit but can you raise that please thank you thank yeah you. no problem and up oh, oh, oh. why is it frozen oh oh, oh. oh the <laughs> Yeah, so that's the my bad. The mistake I made right there is I'm supposed to put the ice laser all the way so it's not on the water anymore. Kind of messed that up, but you know, it worked out. And now all purple hair guy has to do is make it back. It's mess up that jump. Yep. <laughs> so you're going to stay, right? I yeah, no, that's the most know. important part of the speed run. <laughs> Ooh, but this is a good level for me. See you later, nerd. So I have to make it through all this platforming, mess up that platform for myself. That's a little bit sad. And I'll bring over this block i can push it on the white button which is going to allow purple hair guy to finally do some platforming of his own meanwhile i'm just going to press this green button and we'll wait for purple hair guy this really is just a level of both of us waiting for each other those jumps are always a lot scarier than they should be especially because this is a really good run so far but he's going to open up that door for me that's going to allow me to hit the purple switch and now we just both have to make it back so it's going to be a little bit of a race it's not like i have a way what? big wait, yeah no, this a race? that's not fair well it's not actually a race level but we're we're racing for fun you know we're just having a good time together and it's also a win for me and a sub one minute I love seeing the 59 seconds. But here's a real race level, and this one is actually terrifying. So the thing about this race level is later in it, you can see that there are pits of that black goo, and we have both died on that black goo before because that jump is surprisingly hard. Can you get it? Let's go. Oh, win, win, win. No, no, <laughs> and a so win close. for me. Oh, I yeah. So now for this one. Oh, this one's really complicated. This level is just all memory, and I bet I forget what to do. I'm already forgetting. Uh, now, what you have to do first is open that for me. That way I can open that green door and that allows me to go over to this yellow switch. You're going to go upwards over yep. towards that blue door and I'll get the switch for you. That's right, going to give you button. that guy. And then you have to race all the way over there. Perfect jump. You're a gamer. Yeah, you go lower, I thought. No, I go I in the go. higher place. You go in the middle place and I get the lower okay. button. So now you are don't trapped try. forever. Hey, don't try sorry, to trap sorry. me, man. But yeah, you're trapped forever. I'm never coming back for you, man. But wait, I will open wait. up those green doors. And yeah, that's pretty good. Let me out. Okay, Please. I actually will let you out. You're welcome, man. You. And yeah, pretty right. good level. It always looks more intimidating than it actually is. But you can get soft locked in this level if you're not fast enough which is kind of sad but another diamond and yay i get to do nothing at the beginning oh no this level's so stressful i have to perfectly line up the beam at the top right to hit the water pool by fireboy and it's not as easy as it seems really don't worry you're a gamer i know i got the lineup i can do this first try all right yeah that, that looks 
right? A little too far, a little too far. Yeah, they're perfect. Now I just gotta run all the way back. Oh, so much running for me. And if this is perfect, it should turn that to ice. Nice. Beautiful, you're a gamer, purple hair guy. So yeah, now purple hair guy, all he has to do is go and freeze this top water, which is gonna allow me to go through. And I just have to go and hit the red button. Meanwhile, he's and gonna get the diamond. So there you go. You can make that Got jump. It. Beautiful jump, you're a gamer. Uh, I can't fail that. <laughs> okay, I've just tried to compliment you, man. Now I gotta walk across ice. Uh, please hurry up. Yeah, well, I do literally nothing. I can't even make my special jump on that one. I've tried a lot, but you're going to let me through. I can go to my door and you just have to make it to yours. So on to another race level. Race okay, level. this is a scary one. This I'm one this is one. super easy to mess up if you just don't get those. I'm going to kind of wait. Ooh. How'd you get that jump? I'm so good at that level. That's my first race win of the video, I think. Yeah, it's your first race win of this game. That's kind of insane. Okay, now for this one, I have to set up this block first. Meanwhile, purple hair guy is going all the way around. He pretty much does nothing. That's I mean, I so guess you rude. do have to make it through the black goo and all that. But I'm going to move that button. Then you're going to place that there. I can get that to come down, which is going to allow me to hit the green button. And yeah, there are just a lot of walls that we have to make it through. So purple hair guy can actually get the diamond. Once you hit that purple button last wall goes up and i got the diamond now it's just uh i wait at the exit for your slow butt yeah and oops okay um excuse me yeah that was a little scary but there we go that's what we like to see but on to another race level baby oh, okay no. this one is i'm pretty sure this one's a free win for me actually because there's oh, all help. this snow around and stuff and i also get to help purple hair guy out here i could completely destroy him but i'm gonna move this block for you you're welcome Thank you very much. Yeah, so that jump is a little bit less scary. And then he has to very slowly Can go I up jump? this snow. You tried your best. <laughs> What an unfair race level. But how about this race level? Okay, this one is not unfair. Okay, it kind of is as well because of the snow. The snow literally just makes Fireboy so good in all these race levels, as long as I don't mess up. It is really easy for me to mess up the race levels, but if I'm playing well, we're good to go. Like literally, I just make that final jump and I'm good. Oh, this is so unfair. Please I don't know me. what please you're please talking me. about, man. Oh. Now on to another diamond level. I'll hold this down for you. Thank you very much. And you can push that block and i'm just chilling for right now oh wait i'm actually supposed to be there my bad <laughs> I, I forgot which level we were doing okay i'm gonna go through there go through the door and now it's time for you to do a bunch of stuff hooray okay so i have to let you through this purple door and then i gotta run all the way back around to free you with the yeah. white button yeah, it's actually kind of hilarious how much you have to do compared to me. Yeah, a little unfair. I got this jump, though. Hard the developer jump. really is a Fireboy fan. I don't think he likes Water Girl at all. But yeah, thank you for letting me free. And now all we have to do is work right. together. Thank you. That's called cooperation. Nice jump there. Okay, oh, shouldn't you be paying attention to yourself? Why are you even looking at me? Oh my gosh, I just, okay, you know. I've got extra time, man. You're, you're letting me have so much time. I was just enjoying the scenery. All right, here you go. Let's go. Thank you, and that'll be another level. Okay, for this one, I have to make one of my cool jumps right at the start. Easiest nice. jump of my life. That's going to then turn that into ice. I also have to make sure I flip this switch again. And yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of what I have to do. Uh, oh, you are I'm going the wrong way, way Purple Hair Guy. I have to go up and hit the green lever to move the mirror to freeze your leg. Yeah, that was the complete wrong way, man. But that's thank you. Bad. And yeah, yeah now bad. I can just make it to the end. Nice 30 second level. So in this jump, you need really good momentum momentum to just perfectly make it over there and then there you go yeah, just down, make it down, down there perfect nice. good job that saves us so much time from having to play the level and actually do things <laughs> instead we can just go right there i open up that door for you and i just got to make it to the end which still takes forever okay on to this one and okay this is a big level do you remember what to do for this one pro boy guy absolutely not this is the one i forget every single time so first it. of all what i have to do is move over the purple stuff that way it's aimed at the red laser and you uh, Purple wire guy. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm like totally lost. Oh, I have to go. Yeah, I have to go hit the red laser on the ice to bounce it up to the mirror. That's what it is. Yeah, sorry, there sorry, we go. Sorry. That's what we like to see. So now it's no longer the ice beam. We're going to get the yellow beam to go straight over to the red mirror. Then I just have to line this up. It is very small movements cause really big ones on the mirror, but that is perfect. You know, a little slow, but we got it done. And this level. Okay, time for a scary jump for me. So I have to go here. I'm going to press this button. That's going to cause the heat laser to go down there. Purple hair guy is going to move over this block for me and then I'm good to go. I got to bring the block down and smush your head with it. Here you go. Yeah, man. I really appreciate it. So I will go right there. <laughs> 
and then okay. boom then i'm gonna I move this over that. a little bit that way he has a much safer jump and all we have to do to finish this out now is move that over there that's gonna open that up i push this brick to the right to open your door and, and i will open mine. your door for you and that is it a scary level but one we usually don't mess up on but time for the last few levels and this one is kind of complicated but we've got it so first of all he's gonna go hit that blue switch just so we can open up the diamond door and i'm gonna come over here to this white button and pretty much just wait for him for a second so the white and green buttons are on timers that we have to race to the next set of buttons to freeze the uh water underneath the laser yeah we have to be very careful about that but there we go that's perfect and now i have this really fast platform to go over to and i can make it over to my diamond okay we are doing insane on this run i'm not gonna yeah, lie nuts all right knock on wood though but race level win. okay you know you should knock on wood because you're about to lose this race no. level oh i took it too slow oh my gosh i'm getting stuck on everything actually i don't know this one might be easier for you now that i think about it because yeah, i have to make it up here oh you just messed up let's go oh, it's my back. level but i still no, do I have higher to go up so it will be a little scary for me I come on this. come on no yes Okay, oh, I think Wait. you won, but I'm not sure. This level, complex. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of just moving platforms up and down, at least for me. I, I just have a fun time. I have to remember what to do. That's the hardest part of any of these games. Okay, I got to bring this brick over. Don't forget. Oh, uh, yeah, keep that down. Yeah, and then I will do that. Move it over slightly. Oh, gosh. Oh, my, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I got it. <laughs> oh, good. I Water girl's to head stuck always getting here. stuck in things, I swear. Yep. And then that is going to open up that platform for me. So now I have to go through here. It's really weird how they do this. They make you have to just press two different buttons. And maybe you're supposed to use the brick to do this, but you just don't have to, which is kind of hilarious. But okay, you're coming down now. Uh, Lower it down. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> sorry, wrong, wrong way. Man. Okay, I will put that go down and then yeah. that is pretty I'm much playing. the level this game really doesn't like you with these block pushes man i know it's getting stuck on everything okay that was easy final four levels for this one. Oh no it's this level oh, oh no you have to let me out what are you, what are you <laughs> doing messing with the green stuff open it up and i'll drop this brick on you oh, okay no, you're safe this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling here so I can keep that blue door open for you. That's going to keep it open now. And purple hair guy has to try to move this green button to the right spot. But you should probably just stay there. Yeah, I'm going to stay up here. I think I got it. But this this one is so hard to hit. Yeah, it's, it's very really exact to get it. Okay, I, I, you're just going for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm brave. I, I'm I'm bold like that. Purple oh, hair I, guy. I, I, I found. Oops. Sorry, sorry. But okay, that one looks good. <laughs> you just yep. have to have it in the exact spot. There's not really any good visual cues for where you should put the switch. So yeah, it's a little hard. And once I open up the screen button, you can get off that and just run to the end of the level. All right, let's go. Yeah, that is going to open up the ice for me, so I can actually make it to the end. You know, they made this level a little bit harder for me. I could have died in so many places. There was barely anywhere you could have died. What about that big puddle of lava? I mean, you would have to be very bad if you died there, but there we go. Okay, that was perfect. This is my race level. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know about that one. Wait, why wait why up, is that up. one platform at the bottom just spinning around? What is going on with it? <laughs> but okay, last two levels, one diamond level, and oh, no, it's this level. Oh, come on. This level's easy. I don't know uh, about I that. I, I guess it's easy as long as you know what to do. It's just confusing sometimes. So first of all, He's going to open up this red door for me. That way I can move over this block and I'm going to put it on the right side and then go over to the left side. So when he releases that green button, I'm then going to go up and I can position myself right there. Now I have to go down here, push this brick into the water to make this jump, uh, flip the switch and then head back to my platform. Where? Yeah, that's going to open up the diamond and then I can get that to get pushed down, which is going to be very heavy. Then I'm just going to wait a second before I then go push that. And now I have this really heavy block to push. We didn't mention it before, but obviously the gray blocks are much heavier than the white ones. So they take longer to push and also just work better in these puzzles. But that should be it. All you have to do is right, let me up go. there. Perfect. I will come up and yeah, that's the level. Only one left in this level is going to be the hardest one in the entire game. Do you think we can do it, Purple Hair Guy? I, I don't think so, man. We've okay. Never done it first Come on. Oh my gosh, oh, no. Oh, you messed. All right. Oh, okay. I, I'm counting that as a race win. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's a race <laughs> win. You have the easier path, but there we go. 
that's time. Now for game number four, we have the Crystal Temple. And this one starts out with the same tutorial level, but this time you might notice we are much faster. It's actually insane. Like purple hair guy at the beginning, he had to stop himself from moving. Otherwise he would just fall into the lava pool. And these tutorial levels are not made for how fast we are. I think the tutorials are actually some of the hardest levels in the whole run, just because it's so easy to mess them up with the increased speed. It's insane. Yeah, these levels kind of go and say, this one isn't that bad. But for the second level, which is going to be the light tutorial, it gets very hard because we have to very slightly push that guy, then go up here so we can push that green switch. And then this one is so specific where I just have to barely nudge it over and perfectly get it on the light. It's insane. We made that look easy, man. It is not that easy. <laughs> But it is also nice in some of these levels, like right here for Purple Hair Guy, he actually gets to go fast on the snow. And this level's kind of funny, it's in the game, because there's only one other level in this speedrun that uses the ice mechanic. I don't know why, it's so strange. Yeah, it's kind of funny, they give us a tutor. I mean, they have to if they're going to use it at all. Oh yeah, also now the mud is green again, but it's like acid green, it's kind of insane. But okay, now for the actual new gimmick that this game has, it has portals, which are really cool. You'll pop out the other side, and there's both a white side and a black side. So you have to pay attention to which side you're going, but you already know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Shove it our heads right in there. Then I have to go to the white side of the portal while purple hair guy goes to the black side. Perfect. And we're gonna do pretty much all the diamond levels first because they're pretty difficult and very easy to mess up. So for this first one, purple hair guy gets to do everything. Hooray. Yeah, another all meat level, just like usual. Hey, I don't know about that. Now <laughs> I have to make this path. Oh my gosh, it's so uh, hard. Oh, dear. Difficult. And he will go pick up this diamond. I opened the door for him. You know, I'm a gamer. But yeah, that's that level. It also had a bunch of other stuff that it makes you think you have to go to, but you don't at all. Sometimes these levels are like that, where they're just pretending there's more stuff in them when there isn't. It's kind of hilarious. But I'm going to open up that door for him. That way he can open up the diamond door for me. Oh, you actually remembered to wait this time. I appreciate yeah, I that. always hit that switch first. All right, you're all good. I just make it through there. I have to jump up nice there job. and perfect. Next up, this level is pretty hard because I have a difficult jump. So first of all, I'm waiting for purple hair guy to yep. move over that yep. platform and I have to make a perfect jump all the way over to that green platform and I'm a gamer. Oh. Sorry, I was just in awe. I like, I was watching. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, I have definitely died there before because that jump is super hard. You have to hit it right on the edge. So it makes sense why you were watching. I, I could have very easily just lost the run right. right there. Here you go. You're free. Thank you very much. And we can make it to the end. That level is scary. But on to our next diamond. You got to let me out. Oh, yep. That I'm trapped, dead. please. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now you get to do stuff, huh? Uh, I have to let you out again. Gosh, always in need of rescuing. Yeah, let me go through there. I accidentally diamond. fell down, but I will grab that diamond. Then I'm coming down here. He's going to drop that block down. So that way I can open up that door, get my switch. Now you actually have to help on this level. Okay, I would call me doing all that help, and I was the one who got the diamond, man. But I after so I come up here, he can just go straight to the end because he has to go over to his door. So what I'm going to do is flip that switch that's gonna do that then i have to flip it back so i can actually make it through and that'll pretty much be it just going through very fast it actually feels amazing to play this game because you just go so fast it's scary yeah, I... because it's easy to mess things up but i like the increased speed but here we go now i have to make a very specific jump Okay, what I'm trying to do is make this jump directly in the middle of that platform and I can just make it up there so I can hit that switch. Then I come down here, get that diamond and all I have to do is jump over there and make it to my door. And now I have to run the gauntlet here. It's gotta go all the way around. Yeah, pretty easy stuff. You know, it looks a lot more difficult in that level than it is. But okay, now for this one, you're gonna head over there, the door, hit me yeah. that one. Then I'm gonna open up this yellow door. That way we can drop down this brick and I can hit this white switch so you can get the diamond. I I hit it back so then you get teleported and i gotta let you up which i won't forget this time there you go yeah thank you very much and now all he has to do is his special jumps which i'm actually gonna help with so there you go have fun man i love how i just get to like kind of bonk my head into it it makes you go faster <laughs> but now for this one oh this one's a scary one. Oh, i mean yes absolutely this one is 
horrified. So purple hair guy is going to position himself right there. And what I'm going to do is bring this block over. And you can see that the portal's aligned. So when I push this through, it's going to land. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, the block just stops. But he has to then go put it on the green button. He's insane. So that's going to make the fan turn on. So then I can go press that button. He can go down there. He can use the fan speed to go back out. And that's pretty much the level. Now all I have to do is make this job. Excuse me. <laughs> Sometimes there are just <laughs> invisible walls that stop you. It's really annoying, man. But okay, only two more diamond levels. And this one's a fun one, at least for me. Yeah, for you. I got to go and run around the whole level. Well, I get to have fun. Wee! You see that jump? That was awesome. I wish I could do that. Yeah, you're just not cool enough. You know, they love Fireboy more than they love Water Girl. This just proves that. And then what he's going to do is press that switch so I can go down there, then press it again so the portals come back up. I can do another fun jump. Wee! And let him out. I'm so jealous. I wish I could do that. Yeah, you know, we all wish we could be Fireboy. Let's not lie. But that is going to be it. I can just come through these platforms. And you know, I'm just always so surprised by our speed in this game. Like, like, just playing three games before this where we were going slow, it's actually insane how fast we're going now. For this one, we have to go up. I will go, excuse me, uh, this my is my Sorry. platform, sir. But he's gonna let me up the platform first, then I can come up here and I'm gonna let him up it second. And then we have to go all the way around this map. That way we can get the diamond. So since I'm faster, I'm gonna set up already. And I'm gonna go get this red button over here. He has to jump over the green goo, hit that purple one for me. And I have to be very careful to not die here and not fall off because I want to save him again. And perfect, that's what we like to see. Surprisingly easy to mess up that uh, portal jump there because it's a sloped edge on the other side. Yeah, and if you do mess up, it just kind of wastes time. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but there we go. Now we just have to make it back. And okay, we're out of the diamond levels. We still got a lot of hard ones, but you know, it feels good to be out of the diamonds. So now for this one, what we will do is we're pretty much just both going forward. This one doesn't change depending on which guy you are, but I'm going to come to this green button that way you can go ahead and move over that yellow switch then we can make it through the portal so we don't just die to the green liquid don't you just want to drink that green stuff i mean it does look pretty good if it looks like sour spray you know like a, yeah, a huge pool right. of sour you're spray so right. but okay now for this one very specific jump i made it first try let's go i never get that jump first try so <laughs> this is officially the run and now what i can do is make that jump and i jumped way too soon for that one that was kind of <laughs> scary but now you have to do literally nothing while i do all the work just how i like it <laughs> yeah to be fair we both want to be the one that does literally nothing it's the best part of playing this game but okay race level oh i just got the head start oh, let's go no i was too late on the start so i will hit that switch that allows us to go up and we actually have to save each other by pressing these buttons technically you could really mess with the other person but we are speed running so you know but that's a win for me baby i'm so bad at races in this game and now for this one i have to wait for you for a second this is going to be one of the timed buttons and so i can use that extra speed up oh yeah and this is the only level that actually uses the snow features actually is it the only level are we sure there's not any others i'm like nine to ten percent sure it's it's the only snow level. Wow, 9 to 10. That's a lot, man. That seems yeah. pretty confident. Yeah, I'm super confident about it. <laughs> but now we just have to make it through here. I make the jump over. We have to wait out the switch. And that's going to be the end of the level right there. Now for this one. Oh, yeah, this is a head yep. level. Instead of doing <laughs> any of the puzzles, we just go right here. I stick my head right in there. And that's perfect. <laughs> it's too easy. Oh, I love these stages so much. Now for this one, we're... We're both going to be oh, coming over into this direction. Level. Yep, I'm going to be using my head right here. <laughs> you love to see it. Who likes doing puzzles when you can just stick your head in there? And then he's going to open up that gate for me. I can turn on the fan. And that's pretty much going to be it. We just both jump up. And that's the end of another level. We're getting these done really fast. They're like 20 second levels. Oh, race, race level. level. Okay, we both had a pretty good start on this no. one. But yes, oh, that is what we like to breath. see. <laughs> that's so sad. I can still win this, though. If you make a really big mistake, I got this. Yeah, I don't think I'm making one of those, though. I I just oh, have to go on, through there. Come on. Sake, please do it. No. Nah, I got to get my wins, purple hair guy. I got to oh, do what I got to do. Man. Then for this one, I'm chilling at the beginning. You're going to lift up go. that fan for me. And I have to make the jump. Oh, yes. Scary jump. Now I lift myself up. 
uh, and we converge at this block here. Though. Also, that isn't oh. really that scary of a jump. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, it's a pretty easy jump. But you already know the memo, what we're going to do. We don't want to yeah. play this game. So Locked we're just going to put there. our heads in there. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Another race level time in this one. I think you actually have the advantage. Oh, no, I have the advantage no, because my door is closer. On this. Okay, I want to call massive, you know? <laughs> it could be either of us winning, you know? See, like right there, I had to slow down for a second you oh, caught up I to me oh you Sucks. stopped there you, you moved your head I and <laughs> dang it i almost had it i was close look that's what you get for not choosing fire boy you know <laughs> you should have thought about that i didn't get to choose though yeah that is kind of fair anyways what i'm gonna do is jump up there then i can let him out with this green platform i love the way that all the green things look in this game they just really pop out especially with the black and white background okay so i gotta oh wrong way i gotta push this brick over so i can make the jump and then you'll just drop uh that platform so i can go up and that's the level yeah pretty uh, easy good. stuff we're coming almost to the final little star bit we're almost there and you know this one should definitely be a race level in my opinion yeah, what uh, do you agree, Purple Hair Guy? Uh, I would not, because I have to wait for this, like, 15-second platform to <laughs> catch up to you. Nah, this is completely fair. What are you talking about? That Absolutely been, fair. <laughs> that would have been the best race level in the entire game. Okay, now I just have to go through this portal, and that's it. But no, that should not be a race level. You're insane. Okay, I think you're, uh, I think you're wrong. But now this one, let me out! I'm trapped! Yeah, I got you, I got you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I was very scared and trapped. But we're going to go through these portals, and I actually have to hit this green button. He can go and already set himself up by that red button. Then I have to go back through because it is one of the ones that is timed. You can let me through, and then I have to do this scary jump for you. Oh, let's go. It's not that scary. I can just run through that, like, totally safely. Yeah, but it's scary for me to watch. <laughs> I'm always scared for you, you know? Now another race level. Oh, and this one's a fun one. So uh, what we oh, have to do... Oh, no. Yes! Oops. All right, so I think what happened there with your controls is how you get positioned with the portal. Sometimes it messes with your head. Like, if you're holding right and then you go left, sometimes it messes you up a little bit. At least that happens to me. That's exactly what happened. Yep, you got it head on oh and i just can't hit a jump there we go let's go we love seeing me win race levels i wonder what the record is right now <laughs> yeah someone has to let us know in the comments by the end of this video because you know i think it's going great in my opinion everything's going great in your opinion this isn't fair i am fireboy to be fair but here we go scary jump okay that one it doesn't look that scary and it probably isn't actually that scary but like i'm always scared of it just that water pool right there i'm scared of water now this one we both go to our sides and oh yeah this one oh, we're literally it is the easiest level of the game that's all we have to do then we make it through these portals and go to the end obviously if you were trying to get 100 percent it'd be a little bit harder but we're not trying to do that and we're on to the star levels okay so for this one First of all, you can go over to that purple switch. I'll wait right here. Yep, I just open it up for you, and then I head back through this portal. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire challenge of this level. There is the green stuff at the bottom, but it really isn't that hard to not die in. I don't think we've died there once. And you know what? I'm going to grab my diamond right there. It's oh, taking you long on. enough. <laughs> Look, I had to get it. You know, it, it looked fun. So disrespectful. I was just trying to collect stuff. We're going to sell those for millions of dollars. Oh. You'd think this is a head level, but you can actually just make that yourself. I don't even have to wait for you. Yeah, because we have these insane speeds, I can just make it over there. It's that easy. And now we just have to make it to this part where you're going to go press that white button. Yep. Then I have to go through this platform and then I will press it as well. And this run has been going insane. I'm a little worried. Like, I do not want to get Whoa. any deaths on this. We will go up here. And yeah, it's this level. Don't. Oh, no. I... I am so bad at this level. It's okay. What we're going to do is boop, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Hey, okay. it's, it's fine. You almost trapped me, but I, I can accept that. <laughs> you know, I was just trying to have fun, man. Just trying to leave you there. Yeah, hopefully we can keep going. Oh, this is a fun one. So I have to go through there. I'm going to hit that switch over, then hit it again. And then I hit that yellow switch, which is going to turn on a light. That's going to open up the first path for us. Then we can hit that purple switch. And this level is so complicated if you don't know what you're doing. 
doing. It looks way harder than it actually is, though. Well, that's because we know what to do. Like, if you're actually playing this game as a puzzle game, it's probably difficult. And, oops, my bad. <laughs> uh, it, it took... Oh, uh, oh, oh, gosh. I gotta hit the switch back. There you go. Okay, what I was trying to do is just jump over there. I don't know how I messed that up. But then I have to hit that switch, which is gonna open up the doors. He can come back through. Yeah, nice and easy level. Now, for this one, the portal level. Okay, this one is not that complicated when you know what to do. But there are so many portals. They're very confusing. All we have to do is take the right path, though. And there we go. I am good. Now, we have these very scary puddles at the end. I, you know, I shouldn't be scared of them. I always am. I feel like I'm going to die every time I go near any of those. They're just so weird. Right, also, this level, we... Okay, I'm not supposed to do that at the beginning. I always do, but I have a lot of fun. So that's all that really matters, right? I will open that door. You can hit the switch. That now opens up the final for us. So all we have to do is go back into my portal, then go to the end. And that's pretty much it. Another level where, like, what were those other switches for? I have no idea. I don't know if I ever want to know. But now for this level, I have to hit all four of these boulders. But it's a pretty easy pattern I have to remember. All I have to do first is far right. Then I go over to the far left. And purple hair guy's just chilling there by his green switch you having a good time man i yeah this is awesome i'm enjoying myself so now i will do this one next that is going to that. hit there and open this and then i have to sprint to the blue button because you can lose this level surprising yeah that would be a pretty funny loss if we just lost right there but you know while i'm waiting might as well get some diamonds i appreciate it and then as soon as that happens i can go to my door purple hair guy can go to his and we're done with that one okay only four more levels this one one. Oops. Yeah, I'm coming this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take the top path. You can take the bottom one. I can open yep. up this door for purple hair guy. Then I'm going to come and bring this boulder over while I'm waiting for him. Then just have to put him through there. Also, I'm realizing sometimes I call these square things boulders when they aren't boulders at all. I can't wait to see the comments about that one. <laughs> I was just about to mention the boulder thing. <laughs> but okay, you know, another one done. Perfect. Only three left. Can't can we do it, purple hair guy? Can we get I'm the death bus? Either. Oh, this one. Okay. This is a kind of scary jump. Not really, because you can't really die, but you can lose time. You want to make sure you don't have enough speed there, but you don't have too little speed there. So you have to get the perfect amount of speed, and that works out great. It's rare that we hit that on the first try. That was really good. Okay, it's rare that I hit that on the first try. You always hit it. You don't have to lie to them. We're not supposed to talk about that, okay? We're not supposed to talk about that. Hooray, a me doing nothing level. I love these. So purple hair guy will use that purple switch. Yeah, that way it can go right over there. Then move the block over so I can start jumping up. Uh, I'll turn this portal on. You got to go in. And then I turn it off. And then I will go over here, which allows me to get that red button. Then I can go through there. And yeah, it's pretty much just racing to the end now. Except you, once again, have the advantage on the race. Well, this isn't even a race. I was just using race as like not an actual race term. Man. I know. I'm just complaining. But speaking of races and the most fair race in the world, where both I start in a farther position and my door is closer. But Wait, you're I actually ahead of me. I don't know yeah. how you got that speed boost right there. That's kind of unfair. You're getting smoked right now. You can't even keep up. Yeah, this is actually kind of insane. Come on, man. I can no, make I got this. You can't win this. <laughs> yeah, you're actually destroying me. You know, the last race, the one that really matters, I wasn't able to show out. That is kind of sad. But there we go. That is going to be time. And that's game number four done. Next up is Fireboy and Water Girl Elements. And this one starts as soon as we click play. Where there's going to be the same tutorial level, but you might notice we look really different in this version. They completely changed the art style and how different things work. Like now, every time we jump, once we hit the ground, we slow down, which is interesting. But I mean, it's still the same general game. I'm going to push over that block. Hurry, purple air guy. I can't move as fast in this one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, with four, we just move so fast. You still do have pretty good movement in this one, but I don't think anything will ever beat Fireboy and Water Girl 4. Also, it gives us this new screen where it also gives us a goal on how fast we need to beat each level. Obviously, we're going to completely destroy those. But now for this one, I'm going to be heading to the left. He can open up that door for me. Then I go over to the green switch. I'll push up this block. And I will push the block over this button over here. And can I hit it? Yep. Nice. All right. 
I have to drop down and flip the switch so you can go down. Yeah, I'm just chilling for a little bit and I have to go to the left. You go over to the right. That's going to be each of our doors. Now for this next one, it's going to be the fire temple. And this is because it's elements. So that means there's multiple different elements that each have their own theme. This one is fire. So I can go through everything while purple hair guy is in constant danger. Pretty much. These levels are so deadly, but I get back at you later with the water temple levels. Yeah, there is also a water temple. Unluckily for me, I thought the creator's hatred towards water girl. I thought it would hold true through this one as well, but I'm going to push that down so we can lift him up and we'll each go through our door. Now we have another fire level. That means you get to do literally nothing at the start. So I can go grab this green switch and I will take the downwards path. You take the upwards. I come down here and then I just got to hit this really tricky jump. Just kidding. It's actually really easy and push the ball. Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that a really <laughs> tricky jump, but yeah, we got to push that down. So it opens up this blue path. We'll stand right in there. So we kind of crush our heads because the ball hits the button, then goes off the button and then finally goes back on. But you will get that switch open for for me, I can let you through there. And that's going to be another fire temple level done, which it also does keep switching up which temples you're doing, which I kind of do like because now we're on the water temple. Ooh, these are my favorite because now you're in danger. Yeah, I'm in constant danger like here where I do not want to touch that bottom part at all. This level, not too bad as long as purple hair guy doesn't push that block too far, which that works perfectly. Another water temple level. I have to run all the way across for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they just give him the longest running section. <laughs> and then all the way back. Nope. There's no puzzles or anything. It's just a long run. But then I will go ahead, take this jump. Thank you very much. Lift you up. No problem. We have to hit a kind of tricky jump here where you double jump and get the perfect corner. Yeah, it takes a couple of tries sometimes because you have to get perfect height on that. But we got a second try. We'll take it. And now we just have to run to the end. You're going to have to open up a new path for me. And by a new path, I mean just slightly move that over. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, man. And yeah, that's all for me. Hurry up, man. What's taking you so long? Hey, come on. They make me run across this level like 10 times. Yeah, they really do. You're just going for a cardio lesson. Meanwhile, I'm being cool. But it's time for the light temple again. That means we get to use the lasers. And this time they made this tutorial level even easier. Like you can't push that block farther because it actually stops you. And here it is a little bit easier to do that light, get it where we need it to go. And that'll be that one done. Another light temple level. Now it starts out with me having to do everything. He just sits there quietly. I love this. This is my favorite part of the run and i'm gonna go over to the red switch and then also this blue switch press both of those then head back down and i can press this yellow button so he can start running so i just have to jump up here flip the blue switch jump on top of the blue light block thing and then hit this purple and you might notice this is actually one of the diamond levels, which in past games, we had to get that diamond. But in this one, for some reason, it literally just doesn't matter. Like you can see, even without the diamond, we still got full completion. So yeah, it's weird. But I'm not going to complain because that's a lot less work we're going to have to do for those levels. Anyways, time for the fan level again. Hurry! Here you go. Got to flip that switch. And then uh, I'm going to go over to this fan here so he could boost me up. Yeah, it's kind of a fun fan thing where you get to go up and then also to the left. You know, a little bit of a party. Oh, and then it's this one. Okay, I like this one because I do literally nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I have to hit a kind of scary jump right here, but you got to let me in first, please. Hey, I got to make it back up. Move over that white switch. That isn't the hardest jump. At least it looks like it. I've never had to do it before, but we have to get him to go over there because there's going to be that blue puddle and I could not make that jump. Then I can come back there. I go ahead, press the purple button, also the white one. And that's pretty much it for this level. Yeah, we made it to the end. Nice and easy. Now it's time for the snow temple. One of my favorites because look how slow he goes. Look how fast I do. Thankfully, purple hair guy can actually jump when he's on snow. So that helped him a little bit. Yeah, with the new physics in this game, the the ice is so much better for me because I can actually move quickly. Meanwhile, I have to go ahead, put that, then I have to do a couple jumps. This is kind of scary for him at the end. Did they change up this ending from the previous tutorials? I think they did. I think so. I can't remember fully, but I believe there was a ledge before. But now it is time to move over this block. These jumps are actually scary. We have lost a couple of runs to this, funnily enough, because I have to move this in the perfect spot. I guess it doesn't have to be that perfect, but he does have to be able to make that jump. Then I'm going to move it to the other side, not too far away. He'll be able to make two more. And I know that seems really easy. We have lost way too many runs on it. So many. It's awful. Okay, I wouldn't say so many. Probably like... <laughs> 
two or three not that many but all right now we're coming over here i have this spot and unfortunately he's so slow here's with my jumping so work. i have to wait out his jumping and then i'm kind of just chilling but it is a timer button so that means that it will come back up and now i just have to wait you out and now i let you through here and that's pretty much it you just gotta hit this really hard jump okay that's nice. probably the easiest <laughs> jump of my life i don't know why you call it hard i'm adding drama all right <laughs> yeah drama for like the 0.5 seconds that it's there oh but now we have the crystal temple and this one they kind of ruined the crystal temple in this game because in past games if you go into a portal and are holding left but then it transforms you to the right you'll keep going the correct direction but in this one you actually have to switch up what direction you're pressing i don't know if i explained that well but purple hair guy understands he had to switch between going to the right to the left now for this one i have to set this up unfortunately he can't go through there so i'll let you through there then i just have to push this block you know just like normal me doing all the work moving blocks so. oh come on i gotta hit that jump all right now you have to wait around i go up top here hit this red button let you through and then i go. can go through that one just do Oops. a couple of jumps and then we do have to pay attention to the green goo what is happening man i'm trying to look at myself sorry i i don't know i don't know what's happening <laughs> it's okay it doesn't really lose time because i had to do all the work anyways like usual now forest temple time we're finally back to this one right away he will open up that door for me so then i can move over this block and that's gonna get his red door open then he can finally start moving once i get on the other side and this is a fun part because i get to move on this green button he gets to jump through and then i'd be risky i'm going for it i just kind of gotta crazy. hope that he actually presses the green button which sometimes he does not and now it's just about dropping that guy over we both make it over the yellow and we finish that and one out. i win i okay. won <laughs> all right that's not a race level what are you talking about but back to water temple the worst levels i think we can all agree no water temple are the best honestly so i just have to let you through this door um this level is pretty simple basic mechanic yeah i jump through that one and yeah we're literally just running and jumping at certain points and then i let you through another door you flip a switch and that's essentially it uh, yeah uh, no i have to do the scary drop <laughs> scary come on okay it's kind of scary because i gotta go all the way down there make another jump nice. scariest thing of my life you know they do not pay fireboy enough for all these scary jumps he has to do unlike all the ones you have to do you definitely don't have really hard jumps in the future right and i get this first diamond here that's important because i can't get it later also that was me referencing that he will have really hard jumps in the future he does like we're gonna get on to one that is a very big run killer but for now i'm gonna lower that guy so he can actually go through oh i saw you back up there man a little scared of that jump yes i'm terrified of jumps in this game <laughs> yeah fair especially because it slows you down after you hit the ground, it makes no sense why they added that. I mean, I don't think it was something they intentionally added. To be fair, it was probably just like a weird mistake with coding. But we'll come over here. I grab my last dime and then I just have to make it to my door. And nice and easy level done. Oh, and now it's a head level. It's been a while since we got to do one of these, man. So head levels don't really exist in this game because most doors will just totally get you stuck. But this is one of the ones that's weak for some reason. Some of them are. No, that's not true. The doors don't get you stuck in this one. Oh, I thought they did. No, not really. Like, I can still make it out of here. I just have to bang my head multiple times. You have to push me over. I mean, it kind of gets you stuck, but not that bad. I think you're over-exaggerated, that one. I do. Okay, this is actually a cool level to do well because we just have to remember where we need to put all of these lights. For the first one, I line it up with the line on the wall. Meanwhile, he's doing the blue one. Oh, I overshot. Levers are super touchy in this game, so you have to be really careful with it. Yeah, and sometimes you have to jump over them, make sure you don't do something wrong, but there we go. Now you can set up those two upper ones. Meanwhile, I will come through this. I have to make the scariest jump of my life. Didn't hit the blue <laughs> lever. Let's go. And there you go. And now to finish it out, that was super. I think that was the best we have ever done this level. Yeah, we like have the normal time on it. Good job. And now for this level, this is one that's very fun for Purple Hair Guy because he literally does nothing. What do you mean? I stand on the spot in the whole level. <laughs> yeah, you stand there. I have to go through the whole place. I got to come up to this yellow button. That's going to push down that block. Then I can also move to the other way. And I just have to push the block over and basically bring it to where Purple Hair Guy is right now. Can you hurry up? It's been so long. <laughs> okay, you don't say that when I'm doing all... You're standing there, man, okay? 
Listen, this is a hard job. All right, I'm getting off that button. I don't want to do it anymore. And that's why we needed to bring the block over there. Finally, we can just make a couple jumps and easy level. It's always nice when there are levels you can't die in because even if you can make small mistakes, they're not the biggest deal. And this level, it's another head level. Let's go. Yay. And this is especially why I was saying, you know, the doors are not that bad in this game because when there's one that's on top of your head, it's super easy to get out because you can jump and you'll, all right, I didn't mean for you to jump, Burp Warrior Guy, but when <laughs> I jump, then we're good to go. Oh. The one and only race level. I don't think this is actually a race level because it doesn't have the race music, but I still consider it one because, I mean, look at it. It literally is one. The annoying thing is the camera moves, so it's really hard to do this level sometimes. We have lost too many runs to that, but thankfully we got it done in only 19 seconds. Yeah, that level has caused us so much pain in the past. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we did it first try there. But now I... I will come up here. I got to move over this block so then purple hair guy can go upwards. Then that is going to press on that button so then I can come up here. I'm going to move this red thing back to the other side and also move this blue button so purple hair guy can push the other block. Yep, I just push it off up oh, if I can. There we go. Just yeah, slightly. Yeah, the game does not like you pushing. You want to go a little bit farther than that. There, there we go. go. And now I just wait. And now I can make this jump straight back to the red. That puts us in the perfect position to start raising up that guy. That that's going to give me the path to go. Then I just have to do a couple of jumps so we make this a bit faster. And that will pretty much be the level. That's also kind of scary for us because if I mess up one of those jumps, it can be bad. But back to water level, everybody's favorite. Yay. And by favorite, I mean least favorite. <laughs> My favorite. All right, here you go. I just have to open that so you can jump across. But this water level is actually pretty cool now I'm thinking about it. Because yeah, you'll move me that and then, oh wait, you get to do nothing. Who would have guessed? What? You do nothing. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, I was lying. I, I do nothing at this level. <laughs> yeah, hit that button. Yeah, you can move over that one. I thought for Flip a second, I, I was thinking of a different level that you do nothing in. In this one, you actually have to go all the way around because you can actually touch the water. So I appreciate it, man. But hurry up. You know, I'm just sitting here. I'm bored. <laughs> Always blaming me for doing nothing, yet you're just standing there. Hmm. This okay, I did hit that light blue button. You know, that was a lot of work. True. That was impressive. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. And excuse me. Oh, that's wrong my door. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> that was my door, man. I get it. You want to be fire boy? You never will be. Now, this one, another pretty scary level because there are some scary jumps we have to do. First of all, I'm going to move that guy over and then head up with this blue path. I want to hit this switch. That way we move over what lights are touching what. Then I can go through here, press this other guy, which will open up that path. Meanwhile, purple hair guys is pressing a couple of these, but I have to make the hardest jump. Oh my gosh. I'm always scared about that one. Dude, why are you just sitting there watching me? So I'm watching you. You're impressive. All right. And now I just go back and pretty much do the same thing as you did, but uh, way easier. I just drop down here and go to my door. That's it. Now for this one, this is a stupidly scary level because purple hair guy has to push over this block and sometimes it can land in the perfect spot to where I can't push it forwards. Thankfully, we got it where we needed it to be. So now we're coming up here and you already know it's head time. Oh, Let's yeah. go. All right, Let uh, me out. there we go. Nice. I will jump. And now these are kind of scary jumps, especially for purple hair guy because <laughs> his game lags and excuse, dude. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. <laughs> But oh. here we go. Just a couple jumps to the nice. end. And uh, another run killer for us. Okay, now Ooh. for this one. Okay, I guess you can go up there. <laughs> All right, we were a little confused with that. But now I will stick my head right here. I can jump a couple times for you. You're welcome. Then you can press that button. Thank you. And yeah, literally all these puzzles and everything the creator made, it doesn't matter because we can stick our heads under things and we're just perfect. Remember when you were saying we weren't able to do this trick that often? That's true. I, I don't know what I was thinking honestly we do it like 10 times <laughs> so we're on to another crystal level i will head down here first and then i go up and around meanwhile i'm pretty much just standing here i'll allow you to go and get that fan with the green thing and you can let me through with that thank you very much now we both no go problem. up here I hit this blue button so you can get the purple lever up there. Yep, got that one. And we just go to the very end. Easy. Now it's time for literally like the easiest level in the world. Maybe it's not that easy when you're actually trying to get the diamond. For <laughs> but for us, we don't need the diamond. It literally doesn't matter. So yeah, by the way, you shouldn't jump on these. Otherwise, it makes them go down like that. Just wanted to show you really quick. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much oh, the level. Oh, I, I 
I can hit that jump, I swear. The diamond okay. is looking pretty good. I do kind of wish that we had to get the diamonds in this game, but it's so much easier not to have to. But oh no, scary level. It's another water temple level. I have to hit this jump. Oh, nice. Okay, drop this on your head. Then you go through the purple thing. I'm going to keep this ball with me until you hit that button because I don't want it to be too fast. I have a couple of scary jumps. They're really not that scary, but in a game where it's so easy to mess up a jump, they kind of are. But we will move the ball over there. You have to wait for me till I can hit this white button. And then I hit this red button to drop the ball down and I have to make this run, which I almost messed up. Okay, okay, easy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you since like we first played this game mess up that run. It looks scary, but I think usually you should be just fine. Now we have your hardest level in the world. First of all, I'm gonna push over this block so it's in the right position. I've did this jump. I got it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that jump is super hard to hit. And then if he accidentally hits that blue button after hitting the jump, then it will also cause us to lose because I might fall down. So yeah, there are a couple places that we have died in this level and it's not good. I think the whole level is just dangerous. Yeah, by the way, that jump that he did is a lot harder than <laughs> he made it seem. Like, it's scary. Now back to fan levels. For this one, I'll be heading up, going through there. I like this level. Yeah, because this is a you doing nothing level. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I gotta come up here. I gotta turn off that green fan. And then I have to do this whole path over and over again. Yeah, but now I have to do something like run around. Yeah, and you really do have the hardest job in the world, man. Just kind of chilling. But that should be good. Thankfully, we don't have to hit that blue switch and go get that diamond because it just doesn't matter. And there we go. Now this level, kind of scary one. They even have that green stuff at the beginning, but you have to come over here. I flip this green switch to swap the lights around and then I have to go hit this yellow button. Oh, no, I don't. I'm lying. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you're instead going to move that guy over to press it on there. And I will also move my own light guy over and turn on the light so it's in the right spot. Okay, I don't remember what to do. Uh, oh, yeah, I flipped this around to give the light. There we go. Yeah, so now I can hit this purple switch. So now you can come back around and hit that white one. Yep, to lower one of the doors down. And then I hit the switch and run all the way back to the room I was in before. Yeah, cause all you have to do at this point is just race and not get there slowly. Watch out for that green thing, man. Watch uh, oh out! No. I got it. <laughs> yeah, they give you plenty of time to make it through that door. And less than a minute, we'll take it. Now we have literally the easiest <laughs> level in this game. I just go straight to my door after hitting a switch. Then he hits the green switch. And he also pretty much goes straight to his door. That's it. It's... Yeah, that's the entire level. It's so beautiful. Now another ice level where this one is kind of annoying. You got to hit that jump first. Yep. <laughs> now let me through with that pink guy. I can come through there. Thankfully, there's a timer fan up here. Now you can hit that purple switch. We both go over to the left. Can I make it? Hello? Oh, never mind. Uh, I got to hit it again. <laughs> what it what come on there we go okay first try i have to go up here and since i can walk on the ice i can make it to the yellow switch and open up your door for you yeah then it's pretty much just you going over to the left i go over to the right and that's the whole level it's another one where we should have gotten that diamond if we really wanted to get 100 percent, but we still got enough now for another forest temple level this one super fun so first of all i will hit this purple switch that way you can come through then you'll hit it for me so i can go through now we have to hit both of our switches on our respective sides, then jump back up here and I'll hit the switch again. Uh, I will hit it for you now. And then that should be good. We should be able to go to the end now. This is actually one of the most fun levels for speedrunning, just because it's simple enough to do. And all you have to do is take the right path. We both make it to the end. I'm pretty sure I won that one. What? That was not a race level. It doesn't count. I don't know what you're talking about, but oh no, not this level. A you do nothing level. <laughs> yeah, but it is kind of scary because there's so much water, man. I'm terrified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just have to lift this up for you and you push it down and, and then you sit there. <laughs> okay, you don't have to say I just sit there. You know, <laughs> I sit there in a way that only Fireboy can sit there so majestically. So drop down. 
There you go. Yep, and thank you. Now I make that jump. <laughs> Hardest jump in the game, I have to say. You're so brave. Yeah, thank you. And you can make it to the end right there. Perfect level. Probably the best we've ever done it. Now, really big level right here. To start out, you have to go up there, hit that yellow switch. That's going to allow me to get this brick. So you have to move that over. I'll move this, and then you can hit it again. There you go. Now, I'll move this into the fire. That way, you can actually go in there and go hit that red switch. Now, that jump might look scary, but it's actually nothing. I don't think I've ever messed it up. Not to toot my own horn, of course. Yeah, but to be fair, you're also a pro gamer. So that's, I mean, that's easy to say for you. I just hit this button to drop the platforms down for us and we wait. Yeah, because all we have to do at this point is go and get that blue button. Because, of course, I have to sit here patiently. Hurry up, water girl. I'm bored. I, I don't know. Fireboy, he's kind of a jerk, man. Why does he keep telling you to hurry up? I think that might be you. I have no idea what you're talking about, but last <laughs> level of this game. And then we only have one more game after this one, but this level is super complicated. So first, I'm going to allow you to go through there. I push the brick down, and then I have to push the brick over and drop it into this pit to half fill it up. Meanwhile, I will go ahead and move up those fans. That way you can go back up. I'll just keep on this fan. And then you have to go all the way back down and pretty much do the same thing for me. But I'm going to take the blue portal if you can hit this switch. <laughs> There you go. And then there we go. I'll move that. Hit the switch again for me. Oh, I have to turn it off. My bad. Now I can grab this guy and I'm basically putting in the same spot. Sometimes this can be annoying though, because there might be a little bit of space between the block and the edge, which would mean the ball is a little annoying. We'll hope that doesn't happen, but I might as well go now. You can hit that guy. I can push over my ball and then I'm going to sit here for a second just to make sure it doesn't stop. Perfect. Okay. That's what we like to see. I got to turn that off for you. And then we do the same thing again, where you turn it on, I go to my portal, yeah, and push my ball down. Meanwhile, I will also move this ball, because we have to hit each of those green switches. So this first one, I'll put right there. And the second one, I'll wait, you have to stand there by your portal until I'm ready. <laughs> Let me out. But that will be both the green switches you can go through. And finally, we can finish out the speed run by going through this final door. Oh yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was really good, and it's a world record. And finally, to finish out, we have Fireboy and Water Girl Fairy Tales. Now, this speedrun starts with us actually being able to skip the tutorial. It doesn't count as any of the regular levels, so unfortunately, you don't get to see the same levels over and over again. I don't know, Purple Hair Guy, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> I think it feels great, honestly. But the worst part about this game is I not only have to control Fireboy, but I also have to control the fairies. Basically, you can click on them, move them over, they go towards search and lights, and it's just so much extra work for me. Meanwhile, Purple Hair Guy has the easiest time in the world. I, I would say this is probably your easiest game, right, Purple Hair Guy? Oh, absolutely. Minus all the uh, jumps I have to make. Yeah, the jumps are kind of hard, but I feel like there are harder jumps in other games. This one, for me, is just resource management. Like, I have to remember, this blue fairy, he goes over there. Then I have to go over here so I can get the red fairy. Then there's also a green fairy. There's so many fairies that just consume my brain. And I just run into a wall. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I'm the one who also has to do all the mouse movements. It would be fun if we could switch them off, but I think that would be way too complicated during a speed run. But, you know, we'll make it through. And it's also fun because look at that guy. It's shaped like a fairy. But time for the best level in this game. Okay, it's not the best. It's probably the worst because we have to do that. And then I have to just barely make it through. Oh, that was amazing. Oh my gosh. That was actually amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever gotten it that fast. Um, only 16 seconds. You love using your head for these levels. And now this level is super scary. That's why we want to go to it straight away. Because what we have to do is use the fairy as our lighting device. So I'm going to move the fairy first. Then we'll jump to the next thing. And in general, we've played this level enough to know where these jumps are. But we do not want to take any risks. Like for this one, we just slowly move forward. You're going fast, man. I'm scared. I'm brave, all right? I guess I also do have to move the fairy over, to be fair, but we're just going to leave him here because I know there will be a jump at the end that we can both take, and there we go. Easy. Ooh, what a stressful level. Yeah, that one sucks. But now onto this one. There's a lot of fairies that we have to get, 
and we have to get them each to touch their individual light. So there are five different fairies and we'll be going for all of them. First one, I bring over the purple. I'm also going to bring this white one. That way I can turn on the fan for you. Then I can press that down so you can go out there, press it back up. And while you're doing whatever you're doing, I'm going to move these fairies over. So I have this purple one. First, I want to let the green one go, but then I can get the yellow one that you opened for me. Now I'm going to bring the green one over here. Meanwhile, I will start moving over as well. You'll press a button for me. And then finally, that should be the last red one. And yeah, how is this level for you, man? Man, you have so much to do. And all I got to do is stand around. I love this game. I feel like it would especially be hard if you had to control both Fireboy, Water Girl, and the fairies. I don't know how you could play this game one player. But here we go. I will stick on here for you. Then I can jump down as well. And it's kind of fun with the fairies. We can even move down those seesaws. But now I'm going to open up this path for me. That way I can move that down for you. And I'm pretty much just waiting. I just have to hit the seesaw jump. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to stick my head in there. That way I can move the ferry over and that's going to be the path we need to go. So we can head up here and perfect. We're doing really well so far, but scary jumps time because <laughs> oh, no. there's the green stuff. Oh my Ooh. gosh. That was, that was actually scary. <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful gameplay by us. Now we go through that. Dude, <laughs> you are terrifying me. But now I will bring this fairy over since we open up all those gates. Then I'm going to move that purple switch. And that's pretty much all we need to do with the fairy. You um, fall down. <laughs> um no that's not supposed to happen uh skip that um okay i'll hit this jump like i'm supposed to first try nice now we can move up that purple switch and we have a couple of these really scary jumps the creator of this game really loved these jumps in this game for some reason they're not fun they, they're terrifying they're so awful but it's time for another dark level i'm gonna head over here first i can use my fairy there and we have to go to the other side and it's basically fire boy and water girl are always going to be on one side and the fairy is going to be on the other so i will open that up press that then i have to move the ferry all the way over to the left that way we can go up the right path now i hold this button down for you and, and i run like all the way over here then i can hit that red button and we'll finally bring the ferry with us now you get some more button action i'm gonna bring the ferry there and yeah that's pretty much it for that one a lot for me to do how is it for you purple Air guy once again, I just sit around. This <laughs> is great. So now this level, we have a little bit of cheese we do because you're supposed to open up all these lights. But if you do this very specifically and I just barely move over this light, I'm just able to hit that switch, get the purple fairy <laughs> right away. And that skips having to get the yellow fairy. Now I just hold this down to activate the red light and you can free the green guy. Yeah, this one is a lot easier to hit now. And we can use this green guy to move up that platform. First, I just got to do some platforming then i can do that and perfect pretty funny level that there's such major cheese in that one then we oh, have no. this and this level's not bad as long as we remember what to do which first we have to jump to the left then for this one we want to jump to the left but wait a second then do it and now for this one i'm gonna go to the right i believe you go to the left and now it's time for you to do stuff hooray oh i hate this part okay so you turn that on i just jump through the portal and now more running. Why do they make me run so much? I mean, in this game in general, it's mostly the fairies that are doing the puzzles. Fireboy and Water Girl, their only job is cardio in this one. But we'll move over that block. And then we also have to get this fairy. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so starting off, I just have to free this yellow fella down here. There you go. And I'm going to use that to open up this door. Then I will wait for you. Once Purple Hair Guy makes it through, I can then move over this yellow fairy. I'll hit this blue one open. And all I have to do with this fairy for this level is just open that purple switch. I go hit this purple button up here and let you through. And then that opens up the perfect path for me to hit this blue button. Then you just got to go through there and hit my own blue button to let you through. Yep, that's pretty much it for that one. Thankfully, there wasn't much fairy stuff we had to do, so pretty good. But time for another dark level, and this is one, again, where I pretty much do everything with the fairy. First of all, I want to let myself up using that fan. Then I have to bring it over to the other side. And sometimes it's really annoying moving these fairies around because they're just weird how they're controlled. They don't go at the same speed as your mouse. They kind of lag behind. But now I will open up this purple thing for me. That way I can go over there. Purple hair guy sitting there against the wall yep. <laughs> as per usual but now we can jump through and all i have to do is now bring this to the center of the stage 
there is gonna be a light right there that opens up the door for both of us and we can make it through easy now here's one where we actually do a good amount of stuff as the players so first of all i gotta go do that i gotta open up this yellow door that way i can move the white fairy over and i'm gonna open up this purple door so i can move over the white fairy then i'll open up the yellow thing to let him through now i will turn off these fans and open that door for you and now we're pretty much just switching our positions yep i hope open this yellow thing while you get through that white door if that'll ever deactivate there yeah i don't know the fairy was just like holding on to it that was a little weird oops uh no i hold it down still i don't know why i left okay now i go to the purple to free you and i'm gonna try to move this fairy down without moving the fans that was perfect that just saves us a tiny bit of time and we're both able to make it to the end now for a super easy level as long as we make a couple of jumps i first open that door then i come over here i move that platform and i move my fairy over there and turn on a fan so yeah pretty Oops. simple stuff so far <laughs> except for me falling down we're not going to talk about that this is literally just fairy does everything the level because now i can open up that platform for us and now what am i supposed to do here again you get up here and stand on the button I'm on. You have to go to the right. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So that's what I do. I move over there. Okay, now I go to this and hold this white button to let the fairy through up top. That way I can move the fairy over and then we can hit that purple switch. And there we go. All right, it's been a while since we've done this level, but you know, pretty good, all things considered. Oh, uh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you did not want to jump there. Then this is a really fun level for me because I start out by doing nothing. Like always on this game. <laughs> okay, I don't know. If <laughs> that one's true but i'm gonna move over this white guy that is going to open up the path for that boulder now we both have to press our own blue buttons then i can use the fairy to move that boulder over then after waiting a bit we can both escape from this place and then i'm gonna take the right path purple hair guy takes the left one pretty easy just go through this door and that's it yep i got my door too easy level oh my gosh not this level <laughs> okay so i have to be an expert in resource management for this level First of all, I got to go bring over the white fairy, have him in the right spot. Then I'm getting the red one and I can bring the red one over to this red switch that lets purple hair guy through. Now I want to use the red one there. Purple hair guy almost died. We're not going to talk about it. We both jumped down. I moved the white fairy over. We also have to bring the red fairy with us. Now the red fairy can be used to move down that platform, which then opens up for the purple fairy. So I'm going to move the white fairy over, then the red fairy. Finally, I'll jump down. Also get the purple fairy. Now we get the green fairy. We have to use the white fairy on that switch. I move the green fairy to get that fan. I move this red one over and then I will go through first then also take the white one. There is so much to remember for me. <laughs> but finally, we get the yellow one. We can move him to his light. And then I very slowly move all of these guys <laughs> over one by one. Sometimes the game lets you move multiple at the same time. For some reason, it doesn't here. But I will put my guys there. I need to make sure I go down before the yellow one. And that will be all the doors. There is so much I do. I'm so thankful that level's done. And I just stood around and just waited. <laughs> Yeah, you had the greatest job. Now, another kind of complicated level. First, you will move that down. I can sit here for you. And I'm also going to move that guy for you. Then I have to do the same for me. So I'll start moving my guy over. Just do a nice jump. There we go. Now I have to move these blue platforms down, which will be easy. We both have to make this jump. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. It's okay. I'll just wait a second. I'll try to use my fairy to move the guy a little bit. I don't nice know if job. it worked that well, but now I can get this yellow switch. That allows me to go up there. I can then Freely. hit this purple switch over. I'll jump up there. That's going to set up the path for you. I can free you. Meanwhile, I get to have a really fun ride. You got to hit the switch first. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot. I thought you were going to hit it, you know? Now I will hit the switch. That allows me to move over. I can also open up the yellow doors so I can go there later. Meanwhile, I will hit the switch again. Now purple hair guy moves over. And pretty much we both just have to make it to the end. Time for the hardest jump in the game. Wow. Terrifying. It is super scary. <laughs> So now for this level, this is one I have to remember a lot. I think I bring this guy down first, move that yep. guy over. Now red is up there. I want to bring white up there so I can go up there as well. I'll also move red up here so I can hit that switch for myself. Now I bring white up here with me so I can take this path. Or no, I actually bring white all the way over there. Yeah, thank yep, you for opening that path for me. That way I can move those guys over. 
Meanwhile, what are you doing, Purple Wire guy? <laughs> you having uh, a good time? Standing around like usual. <laughs> uh, it seems like a great go. time. I hold this button down for you. So Thank you. Can go you. I appreciate it. And then I will do this as well. And that's pretty much it. I moved a lot. And then, you know, this time I had the big running level. You didn't really have to do that much running. Ah, uh, it's so nice just sitting around as per usual. Now for this one, we both have kind of scary jumps. I always hate these jumps at the beginning because you can just mess up the platforms and things can go very wrong. We took those pretty carefully because I did not want to make a mistake. Yeah, we're playing so well. I really don't want to mess this up. But now I'm going to go grab this guy. That will allow me to open up some stuff, get our fairy. Then we both have to go down here and we're not going to take this risky at all. You can try to go for scary jumps here. It's not worth it at this point. <laughs> yeah, no way. I'm not doing anything like worrisome here. Yeah, we'll just jump over to these one more. I just have to bring him over. I'm always scared of those guys because just look at that pit of acid at the bottom of the stage. It's terrifying. And now here. Oh, no, not this level, man. Okay, so first I bring over the yellow guy. I have to open up that path. Then I'm bringing over this green guy. Guy. I'll move him all the way up so I can open that red door, move over this ball, and then I'll bring green guy back with me. I have to wait to open that portal, otherwise it's messed up. I've got to stop the ball, which is like the only thing I do on this level almost. <laughs> Meanwhile, I go ahead and move over this block. I got to put yellow back out of the portal, move green, make green go inside the portal. That way we can have an opening with that guy. I can let you up also hit this purple switch then you can show on the purple switch for a while almost to the end now i just have to bring green over here that's gonna open up that for me we'll bring green out replace him that way we can put yellow inside of the portal if i can actually control yellow correctly but there we go perfect and we both make it to our doors man that took you so long i am so ready to be done with the fairy mechanic now this one okay there's not that much fairy stuff we have to do here first of all you'll boost me up i will We'll move that guy over there that way i can hit this green switch and we can both go up there and now who would have guessed it it's time for us to actually do some puzzle solving without the fairies that's a first for this game actually <laughs> yeah purple air guy just sits there kind of chilling while well, i'm gonna move over this block because we have to put this block on the button that purple hair guy's on that way we can both go through there and while that was happening i also moved the red fairy over to where i'm gonna need it eventually now i can be on my way and get this white fairy and while purple hair guy makes a journey all the way back to that yellow switch i'm gonna move blue guy over here you go i'm gonna lift you up and now just run to the end of the level yeah that's pretty much it pretty good job by us and no i'm proud of us we actually did some puzzle solving it wasn't all the fairies they didn't carry us for once Hey, we did five games of puzzle solving. They have to put in their weight sometime. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But oh no, not this one. I don't think we died on this one, but it's always so scary. Any levels where there's a lot of liquid in them, either the green or any color liquid, really, they're just scary. But first of all, we both have to get to this middle section. We switch sides. That way we go the right places. Then I'll bring this guy over to the green switch. We can both jump in. Uh, now we have to go all the way down and hit this purple button so I can push this brick onto your platform. And now you do the rest while I sit here. I mean, you say you do the rest like it's a lot of stuff. I literally just push that guy over. And there we go. Now this one, pretty easy. I like <laughs> Yeah, thank you, man. I like that. You know, you had a great time. It was like a roller coaster ride. Here you go. I go all the way back down and then sit around again. Like the 900th time. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Fireboy also sits around and does basically nothing. I mean, all we're doing is relying on the fairies again. I'll move that green guy first. You don't get to have your fun and amusement park ride anymore. Sorry about that, man. And now we both go and take that portal back over to our doors. By the way, I did forget to mention, but we are now on the final wing of this. So, you know, we're making it through pretty well. And for this one, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to open up that path. Then I have to press that on the blue button. That's going to move the block over. Meanwhile, he can jump to get some speed up there. And I style. Ooh, that's so scary. I've never died on it, but it's always scary. Yeah, I don't through. know why you do it. We could just use my fairy and lose like literally only a second. <laughs> but I guess that is a second that we could lose. So fair enough. Now I will let you through. All we have to do is move this boulder over to its right place. Then we both go up here. And somehow this boulder is apparently heavier than both of us. So we have to work together. We both have to be on this thing to move it over. Finally, move our fairy guy so it hits the button. You just jump to the end of the level. Yep, that opens 
opens the door for us and perfect. We're getting a lot of sub one minutes. I appreciate that. Now for this one. Okay, in this one, we have to make sure you do not have as much control in this game as you do others in the air. So in older games, you could like move to the left and right away move to the right. With this one, we have died in that spot a lot by trying to do that. So we pretty much just wait for the green platform to go the whole way. Then it's pretty much just using our fairy, getting different jumps. And you know what? I'm going to count that a speed run level. I'm pretty sure that that was my win. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? That was not a race. But now for this one, I will line up these guys. So first of all, I'm going to move this guy all the way over there. And these drops I do with these guys are also kind of scary, where I just slowly put them over there. I will also hit this light. Then I'm going to move this guy. Meanwhile, you will go to your platform. That allows you to get raised up there. And I stand on this purple button to lower that thing. I don't even know what to call it. Which allows me to then be be able to go to my path because that's all I need. These jumps are kind of scary because I don't want to move these blocks. I mean, it wouldn't matter too much, but that would be a time loss. And you know what? Here you go, purple hair guy. I got gotcha. you. I'll hit that you. switch for you. You're too nice. All right. Now I just jump up to my door and that's it. So we're on to another darkness level for this one. Moving that guy over right away. You will get that. Then I have to move him here so you can make this jump. It's a scary jump. You got this. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Dude, I always get scared of that jump because what people might not have noticed is we have so far on every single game, we have not died a single time. We're going for completely deathless for every single game and we're almost there. Hey, don't jinx it. Come on. Honestly, it'd be a really cool achievement and you know what? We're doing it. That's another one done. Then for this one, okay, I will go to the left first. I have to line this guy up. You put him all the way to the center. Now I'll press my green button. Then I can move this yellow fairy all the way up here so he'll start on a light. That then opens up the space for me to move the purple fairy, which then, because we already placed those blocks, is in the perfect spot. But then I want to move him over so we can open that path, move where the light is, and that's going to open up our final path over here. A lot of fairy stuff to do, just like usual, but we got it done. That level seems super complex, but I don't think it's that hard, personally. But speaking of super complex, this one kind of is. So first of all, I want to come over here, hit that purple switch, then press it down. Then I have to bring my fairy all the way through the left, go through that side of the portal. That way I can turn those portals off. That then allows me to get this block. I can move him if the physics of this game will actually allow me to. Then I want to turn back on that portal, go and start that light. And first of all, I will go ahead, freeze that, put it back through the portal. That way we can turn its direction. This time it's going to be facing up. And then that will allow purple hair guy to then join me. We can move this block over to that section again, turn off the portals. And finally, all we have to do with the fairies is hit that purple switch that knocks it over. And I'm going to do the craziest jump of my life. Let's go. Wait, you're insane. Why would you do that? You freak. You have to wait for me anyways. I'm just a gamer, <laughs> man. You know, I got to show off. So now final two levels of this game. And this one is kind of a scary one when you first play it. But we by far already know what to do. It's just about remembering where to bring each fairy. You first of all, go and hit that purple switch. <laughs> yep. And now you do nothing. Oh, uh, just like usual. I just sit here and wait for you to do everything. So I'm going to move over the blue guy to where it needs to go. Then I have to move over the yellow guy. I also have to make a jump down here. So then I can put him there. That opens up a door for us. Now I got to make the path back to you. I keep the door open and then we go down and that's it. That's the whole level. Yeah, you really are having the hardest time of your life right now, aren't you? Hardest speedrun ever. Oh, no, not this level. Okay, so this is a level where so many times I die to that little blue puddle. And I don't know why I do it, but it's happened to me multiple times. But me saying it, of course, it's not going to let that happen this time. Purple hair guy is going to move that light over. That's going to be perfect. Then I can move that light in that direction. He presses the button again. And basically what we're trying to do is get this cube over so it can hit the button that purple hair guy is currently standing on so now we'll do that you'll hit the button again so then i can come with this it might be stuck Excuse block uh, come on. <laughs> excuse me block just kind of being annoying look out for the water all right i just push this brick all the way down onto the yellow switch if it'll let me can i do it yes okay that was perfect and finally to finish off all we really i guess this isn't finishing off there's still one more part of the level but that's basically finishing off it's not like either of us would fall in that green puddle right look uh -huh. out for the goo or is it mud <laughs> in this game i don't know anymore he changes it everyone but we just have to do some not even hard jumps probably the easiest jumps in the game but there we go 
finally, once we Hooray. enter those doors, that's going to be time and also another world record. Oh, yeah. All right. Subscribe if you enjoyed and check out Purple Hair Guy's channel. Bye.